Welcome to part number two of the 2021 Rewind video, the best year of my life, and I'm bringing you guys along on the journey to enjoy the show. So get yourself some popcorn, get yourself a cup of tea, sit down, get your feet up, and enjoy the show. So the Traxxas X-Max is one of the world's strongest RC cars, and probably the strongest big RC car. I've been putting these through hell for the past four years, and I keep taking it and taking it and taking it. But, will it handle the abuse from Stempy? Stempy has absolutely zero regard for anything mechanical. Stempy's gonna get broken. Well, that's what the viewers wanna see. Really? Get him out of there, this boy. Is... Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Christ. Come on, I'm running out of film. Guys, comment down below. How long do you reckon it's going to last him? In minutes? <laughs> or seconds? Minutes. Oh. We are on our way to our local hobby shop to get Stimpy some lipos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go, red fins. Jason's got a new toy. What you got, mate? Uh, it's a Serpent. Oh, G GT8 XLWB or something like that. It's a... Yeah, Porsche GT3. Oh, yeah. These are second hand down here as well. Yeah, all of those are second hand too. You've had your red before. Oh yeah. Oh, I've got one of those. We've got a blue Defender. That looks yeah. almost like Andy, doesn't it? So guys, down there, there's a safe that we couldn't get into because this used to be an old bank. And last time we couldn't get into it, now Jason has got into it and he's going to show us what they found. Into the dungeon. So that one was already open. Oh look, he's got a house. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's actually human skull. Yeah, it's a real human skull. That's scary. Come on, let's have a look at this safe then that you couldn't get into. Oh, People were safe. wondering, was it full of millions of pounds and dollars? Was it full of jewelry? Was it full of whatever? They got it open. It's open. It's open. There we go. Oh. Well, we, we thought it would be smaller than this. We were quite, quite pleased. Yeah. So how did you get into this then? Uh, through that wall, took three deep layers of brick out and then disassembled this door. That's the original uh, back yeah, of the door. Yeah, the back right? of the door. Oh, right. so, uh, oh so you can get to the door from the island. Yeah. So what was in here then? Nothing? There was an old broom handle and... <laughs> and, and there was an old um, torch, but that, it didn't even work. Any money? Uh, no. 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 Uh, no. It costs money to get in here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now they've got a bigger storeroom, so it's all good. Yeah. Check this out, guys. It's a car show Nitro Formula 1 car. And his head, apparently, is his air filter. And there's the engine. The we got a Tomney wagon. I'll tell you what, these do look a lot cooler in real life. We go for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the cabin. Surprising, there's quite a lot of room in here. Nice. What's the horsepower? 310 this one is. Oh, that's going to go all right, isn't it, for a little one. How many cylinders has this got? Three. Yeah, four. You can hear the rumble, can't you? Yeah. Go to 60. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Man, that moves. We got G-Force. Well, how's it grip so well? <laughs> oh, is he? <laughs> Oh, Seb's got his Gen's aces. He's got some nitro. So you guys want to come down here, guys? That is where it is, in Bulldog. Got loads of tires, loads of wheels, some Tamiya kits, drones, custom stuff. Bit of a special shelf up there, top secret, no one knows. Loads of bodies, paint, a crawler track that you guys can have a go on. He's got planes over here, look at all this. Air fixes. Come on, Let's get your batteries on. See you later, guys. Thanks for this, mate. So we've got the tractors and connectors off and on with the IC5s. So we're going to do the Shugu and drywall tape modification because that makes the body shell last a hundred times longer. There you go. He's got his cheap ass Shugu going on there. So I used MP's lipos while he wasn't looking and I put them into the project. World's fastest off-road RC car. Trouble is, there's a couple of screws sticking out of the battery box. There were a couple of screws sticking out just there. And it ate its way into the battery. So I got them some new ones and this time some even bigger ones. So these ones here are specifically made to fit an X-Max perfectly and they're also a lot bigger. You get a lot more runtime with these. I'm going to put a link down below where you can get these from and also we can get these from. They fit inside the X-Max perfectly. What are you doing, Stem? Hopefully you can lighten me and tell me what I've got to do. Well, stock, they're quite slow, but in the packet, you get high-speed gearing. And Stemp likes more power, so I said to him to put it in. Go on then, crack him open. What? The paper in there, old school way. My turn with the camera. Kevin, what are you doing here? Ah, uh, someone put the wrong connectors on there. These are for the battery. Who did this then? Might have been me. <laughs> might. Get out of here. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh wait, you've blown the tire off already! Oh. Look at that, it's not even glued on. Tracks is tough, baby. Look, look at that, no glue at all. Oh, making a right mess here. This is not how you glue tires. <laughs> Step definitely needs those training wheels in the back of it. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> oh, your tyre off again! So the tyre comes off again, but Stempy chooses to ignore it. So here we got Stempy's favourite jump. So we got the run up from here all the way across there, and the challenge is you got to clear the road and land on the other side over there. You reckon you can do it? Easy. Easy, he says. Yes. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! My god. oh. <laughs> What's oh happening? Kev, I thought you said this side. Have a look over it, Kev. I don't know what I'm looking out for for anything broken in it. I hope it works, it's alright, isn't it? Here we go, round two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> tumble, rumble, there we go. Oh, it's still going, it's on wheels. <laughs> Oh, nice! <laughs> oh! <laughs> what happened there, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Don't you want that bit? Fell out. <laughs> <laughs> Front flip. Here comes Sam. <laughs> Oh, oh nice. <laughs> tumble wumble. Yeah, listen, that's the pinion, isn't it? Oh. oh. You might be lucky to just come off. That lasted long, didn't it? Yeah, I told you. Oh, he's got the pinion back on, so we're ready for back in action. <laughs> Guys, we got a new toy. And this is the Armour Vortex, which is supposed to do 60 mile an hour. It's also supposed to be strong and tough. So in this video, we're going to give it a proper test and see if it's strong and if it's fast. Hey, got Ian in the house. Where's Claire? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got a new toy. Yeah. Does it involve shaving your balls? <laughs> no. Oh, look at my new toy. <laughs> it's a vortex. Oh, look at that. It's for you. What do you mean it's for me? It's a present. It's a present. Serious? It's a present oh. for you and Claire. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. She's got brushless motor, servo, double wishbone suspension, rear and front, coilover shocks. And if you want to know the rest of the Techno Babble, link down below. I'm making bite from as well. Let's waffle more bashing. Go on then. Let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to give it a quick speed run on the stock pinion and then we're going to put the bigger pinion on it. I can't believe it's so tiny. That's yeah. what she said. <laughs> Size matters, Kevin. Speed test. No, I'm not speed testing it. No, no, no. Flash out. Oh, 39 mile an hour. That's not 60. But look, it comes with a high speed gearing. So we've got to get the motor out to change the gearing. And I think you've got to pull this back. Like that, to get the drive shaft out. Pull it back to get the shaft out. That's it. <laughs> Once you know how to work on them, they're really easy. And then I think this bit should slide out. And then the whole motor mechanism should unclip from here. So small pinion off and big pinion on. Oh, 57. I reckon it just needs bending in. Give it hell. That went up there. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Man, I think he's taking it. Oh, Ian, I've got a challenge for you. Flat out on that one. Yeah. And clear that. Oh. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> oh, he's on wheels. Are you still going? Nice. Well, I need to get some footage. <laughs> oh, he's hungry. <laughs> We're gonna do one more for luck. Let's have a look through here. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> is that done it? Yeah. Oh no! I think you just glue them in. No, that's actually snap. Snapped. Evo. Uh oh. Oh, nice. It did take it really well and just broke up the shock ends. But considering we hit that like a hundred times, that is not bad. It's got to be one of the strongest cars out of the box. Do you give it approval? Yeah. Guys, <laughs> you told me to get it, so I did. And this is a Traxxas boat, and it's supposed to do 50 mile an hour. Oh, it's Christmas every day. Oh, guys. Oh, off to take all the boats. We got it all in the back there. Stempy's got a real boat. We got Stempy in the house. Hi oh, there, my mate. Swim away. There's a boat. Hopefully, it's not going to sink. And here, we got a river. So, we got to take the boat down there and hopefully not fall in the water. Throw this around, then breaking it. Some engine porn. Ah, that's a Honda. Honda <laughs> up, mate. Is it all V teched up? Yeah. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, it's that. off to work we go. <laughs> uh, okay. Last time I swam was about 20 years ago. Have you got your life vest? No. What's that on the back of your head? It's my man bun. You know what's under a ponytail, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> horse's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, okay. Oh, <laughs> I feel sketchy, man. Should we let this thing be? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. First go with a tractor's boat. You like that? Yeah. That's a naughty little thing. <laughs> Stempies go. Man, that is brilliant, mate. <laughs> it's this, isn't it? It does, didn't it? Mate, that's just a new bashman, this is. Rescue boat. What we're going to do, we want to see what happens if you go flat out, 50 mile an hour, and then steer to lock. Just see what happens. Go on, to lock. I just take it. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh, this is, this is my content. <laughs> it's flat out. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you know, it's flat out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, oh my God! Oh, you <laughs> bastard! Jesus, look! Are oh, you alright? No, I'm not. Oh, give me that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's Deb's perfect toy. You go flat out. So next, let's have a little go on a dirt cheap boat. It's probably going to be an anti-climax, but it could be a perfect boat. For the beginner, let's see. One side fills up the water and the other side doesn't, so if hey. it falls over, it fills up and then it goes self right. Ah. Oh, easy. <laughs> oh, why did you do that then? Oh, mate, that's cool though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, my little thing. <laughs> oh, yes. What's going on? Oh, I know, didn't see it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the steering aid is going to track this one. Oh, yeah. There we go, steps go. Okay. <laughs> the steering ain't too hot, is it? Nah. I think you have to let off for the steering. Is it? Yeah. It's not as lively that one, is it? I think when it fell. Oh, she's sinking. <laughs> oh, where's it going? <laughs> Hang on, Kim. <laughs> where's it going? <laughs> oh, why? Is that gone? <laughs> Does it not go backwards? No. So, how are we going to get it? 
<laughs> what are you doing to my toy, man? Oh, Kevin, okay, we're going to have to rescue it with these oars or something. <laughs> Maybe just nail it. Yeah, you are. You might be able to hop it. All right. <laughs> 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 it's like getting drowned, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and I got no power. Power! <laughs> oh god! Where's he gone? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, mate. <laughs> Where's he gone, man? Oh, I think it's gone, mate. Can't <laughs> take too much. <laughs> <laughs> it makes noise! <laughs> Why is he making noise? Oh, it came here. I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's bubble coming up! Wow! So next, we've got the Atomic. This one here is about half the size of the Traxxas one. Similar sort of design. What do you want me to do with it? It kicks in, doesn't it? Whoa! Oh, stem. Oh. We are going to power up, Kev. I've never driven one. Oh, there's your chance. That's all I do. Pull on the cord. Why is it not going? I don't know. Why is it not going? Hi! So Stempy thought it would be funny to push me in without a working engine. <laughs> now what? We're going to have to learn to tie up. Thanks, mate. So you put me out in the middle of nowhere with no engine. Yeah, you better get that going, mate, because that current looks quick. Well, where's that going to go? Oh, down there. What? <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I think it's out of juice. <laughs> hey, he's out. Why is it not working? <laughs> so we get it running, but I've got to learn how to drive oh. it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, going solo. Here we go. Ah. Oh, <laughs> oh look at those spiders. We do, Sam. You launch it like a plane, don't you? <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Where's he gone? It's here. Uh. <laughs> oh, look! Where's he gone? <laughs> oh, that's gone. It's still gone. Where's he gone? <laughs> <laughs> look at the size of it. That is Absolutely mahoosive! Oh. Are you hungry? No, no, no. Go, I'll no, get behind no, it. No, 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 <laughs> Who's hungry? He's hungry. He's got Claire, are you hungry? No. Dave, are you hungry? <laughs> oh, you, thank you, I, think, mate. I got you as well. <laughs> we got all of us. Oh, sorry, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing, Martin? It's how you save and discharge. Is this is this my yeah, back. Discharge. <laughs> 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 there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, sure, there's bits everywhere! Is <laughs> that? Look at that, it's buried! <laughs> Try and get that off, look! <laughs> and it's there! Look at all this! Look! It's just shattered! Look! Look at it! That's your arm! What have you done to the spring? What? <laughs> oh look, there's a shock shaft! 
Jesus! Look at a hole, look! I can, I can yeah, finger blast that! Oh, oh my god! Oh. Here, Marty! Oh, amputation! Oh. <laughs> MTC Tough Baby took it! Yeah, he's alright! I think it's game over! Oh, really? <laughs> what gives you that impression, mate? It's Christmas every day! Guys! <laughs> we got a toy! And this is the Lossy Laser Nut! Oh, guys! What do you reckon? Staircase of Doom! <laughs> Postman! It's Christmas every day! We got another monitor! I've already showed you my new editing PC, but we bought one monitor to see what it's like, and I want more of them. So we're gonna have two more to put next to this one. This PC here is my old PC, so that one's gonna go home, so we can do editing there as well. And some cables for the new monitors, and we can have a little look to see what's in this box a bit later. <laughs> The brakes are vicious now, guys. <laughs> oh, 33 mile an hour. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right, who can jump higher? My brand new laser nut or your Co-Rally EXP, was it? XTR. XTR. It isn't quite so XTR because he's already broke it on the first jump. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, that was scary. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I thought it was going in the face. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> the laser nut takes it. I didn't really think this is a basher. Oh dear. Corelli, not so Boop. tough. That's getting fixed and sold. Oh, is that it? Yeah. That's going already? Yep. Guys, so this is the RC car that you can't buy anymore. And I've got no idea why, because apparently these are actually really good. So in this video, we're going to put it through its paces and see why they stop making it? So I actually bought this one from eBay from Paul Fulton. And it has actually got a few tasty little upgrades on there. Do you have a job you hate? Imagine if you could make more money from the comfort of your own home. That was my dream and it became a reality once I started selling on eBay. And I've now taught hundreds of people my secrets. So just check out the results here from some of my students. So if you're sick of that nine till five and you wanna make more money than a doctor from the comfort of your own home, then click on the link down below and I'll show you how. So we've got some upgraded tires, alloy shocks, and a better servo for the steering. Oh, and a different radio. Now this thing is made almost entirely out of plastic, even the chassis. That's a good thing, because it keeps weight down, it keeps cost down, and metal chassis, they can tend to bend. What do you reckon, guys? I reckon it looks absolutely epic. So here we've got the Creighton 8S, the Creighton 6S, and this one, the Creighton 4S. And this one is a little bit smaller. It's also the cheapest, and also the toughest right out of the box. It's supposed to do 50 mile an hour, and we got a GPS so we can check it. Oh, and it's also got RPM arms because the stock ones are known to be a bit of a weak spot. So let's chuck it in LiPo, and then take it out for a whip. Oh, that JX Eco Boost Servo's got some speed and power. Oh, guys, that's gonna go. There we go, we got the GPS on there. Oh, postman. Oh, it's Christmas every day. So we'll have a little look in here a bit later. Oh, what's happening? 29 mile an hour. We've got a slipper clutch in there. I think they've got a habit of coming loose. Oh yeah, that is loose. Let's get a little bit of Loctite on there. Here we go, that's out. I don't know, I reckon about, yeah, it's gotta be about 50. Oh, 47 mile an hour. Here we go, flat out. 
48, all right, we'll give it here. Oh, what's happened to the steering? It's all gone off centre. Oh, I think the servo horn's tripped, guys. Look. Next, let's have a little look to see what's going on with the steering. Oh, look, we've got an upgraded servo saver, so no idea why that's slipping. I think it's this little insert in here. I'm not sure if you can change that. Hopefully you can. Maybe we can put a bit of plastic over it and temporarily it might work. Boom! Hopefully it's gonna last. All right, enough waffle, enough wrenching. Let's go! <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, I bust the shark already. That didn't last long. No. Oh, wow. So we're going to fix it in a minute and then we're going to take it out and give it another bashing. We've also got a custom RC upgrade 7075 heavy duty motor mount to put in there. So we're going to do that in a minute and then we're going to take it out again. But first, let's check out some post. Oh, finally, guys. I've got my XLX2 system back. The one that went wrong in there. Better late than never. So, should we put this back into there, or should we put it into this brand new Limitless build that's gonna get a Camaro body? Which is probably gonna be good for like, meh, I don't know, 160, 170 mile an hour. Let me know in the comments, guys, whatever you want, I'll put it into. Check this out, guys. This is actually a aircraft receiver, but you can bind it to this RC car controller here, and this paired up to this is gonna give an insane amount of range. Perfect for the world speed record attempt. <laughs> Oh, look, we've got some more Jens Ace lipos. Guys, these are some of the best lipos that I've ever used. I'm going to put a link to Jens Ace down below. Oh, check it out. We've got another socket set. Monster trucks have got big bolts, so you need it. More posts. Christmas every day. Oh, more toolage. So next, let's get the new shock shafts fitted, the new motor mount, and then we'll take it out for another rip. Oh, check out the quality of this machining, guys. And there you go, that's where we can get it from. There we go, and ready for another bashing. Let's go! Oh, here we are back out. Hopefully it's gonna be reliable. Oh, look, we got the whole crew in the house. We got a race going on. Go. Little four races going. Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, no, the just fell out. Oh, uh, oh look, yeah, we got ASD back in the house. Where have you been, ID? Right in there. Everyone in the comments has been saying, where's ASD been? been He's been in there. Yeah. We're lucky he came out today, because ASD knows how to repair those drive shafts. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Anyone else hungry? Oh, hold on, Claire is hungry. Oh! <laughs> so we got to get that bit back onto that bit somehow. We're struggling, but I know an easier way of doing it. <laughs> A few moments later. Boom! Thanks, Stephen. There we go, back in action. 
Drive it out, pick it out. Drive it out. I'm not doing it now. Nail it and steer it at Dad. <laughs> you won't drive it. Oh, do it. There you go. No balls. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. oh drive shafts off again. Oh, armor tough, baby. So I guess they stopped making it because it's unreliable, which is strange because this one isn't. And if you want to know how we got those impossible camera shots, it's with this camera here. If you want to know more info about this camera, link down below. And if you click here, I'll see you over there in a minute. In this box, we have the ultimate RC bling. Guys, check this out. Oh my god, guys! How sick does that look? Now <laughs> it's. Oh no, I broke it! What happened? Oh, there we go, broken four link bar. This is the Project World's Fastest RC Car. And to win the world record, we got to make it go over 203 mile an hour. And the crazy thing is, if this can do 203 mile an hour, that means it can do the same speed as this. And do it. We've done some custom aerodynamics, fitted two giant direct drive motors, one directly driving the front differential and the other one driving directly the rear differential. And to power these, we got two great big MGM speed controllers, the same that they use in Robot Wars. And then to feed these two ESCs, we got all these lipos here. And yes, all these lipos are going to go in here at the same time. So most RC cars would run on one of these lipos. Some of the more powerful ones would run on two. But on this, we're going to run six. And each one of these batteries has four cells in it. So 24 cells in total. Guys, that is an absolute insane amount of power. And I want to win the world record, but I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. The only thing that I know about is adding more power. And hopefully that is going to work out. Because I really don't want to crash it. Because so far, this thing has cost me around about $4,000. The problem was we couldn't really find anywhere to run it. But now we've found a runway. And that's where we're going to take it today. This could possibly be it. We've actually got a lot less space than what we first thought. So this first section here, this is so rough we can't even use it. And then the runway is actually dug up in this location. So if we actually go from here to here, we have 750 meters, which would still be enough for like a 170 run. There's our runway. Let's check out some of the competition. Limitless. 100 mile now road rock. Four limitlesses. What's Martin got? COVID hat on. Ah, oh, no. COVID crew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Guys, we've got even less runway now. A film crew turned up and they're using the other half of the runway. So all that we get now is from here to here. So we've only got 280 meters. No idea what speed we're gonna get, but this is the first time we ever seriously run this car. And in this small, small, tiny little smidgy of runway, hopefully we're gonna get some sort of idea of how good this car's gonna be. So before we go to come back a different day, we've still got this little bit here. Martin's off already. What you got here, Aaron? 104. Excellent, too. Whoa! You did a perfect pass. So next, we put the foam tyres onto the buggy, done a couple of burnouts just to get them a little bit smaller. 
Four-minute car. Yeah. There we got it. We got the 24 S Lipos in there. 12 for ESC. We put the foam tires on there now. This is it, guys. Make or break. <laughs> I'm nervous. All right, let's go. It did have brakes, I just didn't pull the trigger far enough. <laughs> 104. So at this point here, the car broke traction, a little bit of smoke come out of the tyres, even though you couldn't really see it on the video. And then we hit the brakes a little bit too hard, the tyres locked up, and even more smoke came out. That's the tyres. Hey, I'm the fastest today. Yeah. You are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're just going to wind the power on a little bit more progressively. So for some reason, the rear motor cut out, maybe because it got a little bit hot because we ran three runs back to back. Oh, they're like cat side things. Yeah. Oh, we've got no damage. Speed wise, what we got? 135. Whoa, 135. Guys, that car's got to do 200 mile an hour. That was so stable. If we've got more runway, I think we've got it in the bag. 134 on that one. As you can see, we only actually held the power on for like a couple of seconds. Wound it up fairly slowly. And then I put the power in quicker and it literally just went and then I hit the brakes. So to get to that 100, 135 mile an hour in such a small run and then stop again guys this car has got some serious potential and it was laser straight like it was on rails this car's got so much more in it guys so much more that was only about half power considering we only had 280 meters and we got to that speed in such a small time for its first proper run guys this has got so much more potential postman oh it's christmas every day We'll have a little look in here in a minute. With a few more tweaks and upgrades on this, it's going to be even better. I mean, these tyres, ideally, we want to put them on a tyre lathe and true them down. That's what Vinnie pulled his one over for, and they didn't fit. And that's what I'm hoping is going to be in this box here. Also, we need to balance the wheels, because that adds more speed as well. When the wheels are out of balance, they shake around, and it robs so much speed. I've noticed one of the grub screws has come loose inside the drive cup there, so we've got to tighten that the up. The front end, if you listen to that video, it did sound like it was pushing down and rubbing on the floor. So I think we've got to stiffen up the front suspension, but I think we need to keep the angle like this. I was chatting to Raz Shifrin and he says you've got to make sure the front is lower than the rear, even under downfall. So the rear, that is pretty solid, but on the front, you can see here, look, it was definitely rubbing on the chassis. So we've got to do something on the front end, but guys, this has got so much more to give. All right, let's have a look to see what we got. Oh, grub screws, and these ones are special. If you look at a normal grub screw, they got a point on the end. And if you look at these ones, they're flat. And if you look in here, this grub screw there actually does come loose. So by replacing it with this, Hopefully, that's going to help it. So we got some RPM parts for some of these bashers. And here we have the tyre lathe. So that goes on there. You go and it makes the tyres perfectly round. And to your desired size. So we're going to come back to this one way. Uh, we're going to go again on a day where there's no filming crew there. And we can use the whole entire half a mile strip. And guys, <laughs> we got it hit 203 mile an hour. Guys, so this car here beat the official world long jump record and i also want to win the world off-road speed record with an rc car so i'm trying to get this rc car to go over 100 mile an hour off-road on road it's relatively easy although this is struggling so in this video we're going to try and make it go as fast as possible we've got an extended chassis to make it more stable giant great big motor 8s speed controller that means lots of power but i think we've got to play with the gearing so the pinion gear that's on there now is a 23 2 but we're putting on a bigger pinion that's going to make it a lot faster trouble is if you go too big things can get hot and catch fire so there's a bit of a balancing act and i think for it to have any hope of going 100 mile an hour off-road i think we've got to hit at least 110 120 off-road so in this video that's what we're going to do Postman just turned up, so we're going to have a little look to see what's in here a little bit later. So we've just put on a brand new set of tyres, two GPSs on it this time, 8S LiPo, all charged up. Hopefully we can get it over 100. Here we go, please don't crash, please don't catch fire. <laughs> we get that again. 96. 96? <laughs> right, no. Favourite. Oh, it's cut out. ESC went into cutout mode there, so down there we've got the old hardcore boys. 
and they're recalibrating my ESC, so hopefully it's going to go a bit faster. Steen, you doing a runaway over there? Here we go, round two. That's out. We got 102. Hey, 102. But I want to go 100 on grass for that, so it's got to do more on road. Big opinion time. So that was a 23 tooth pinion, and now we're going to go for a 28. 102. Ah, oh, we got to get him on board. 104. Oh, oh. 104. So there we go, charging up the lipos. So that was a 28 tooth pinion, so next let's go on to this one. No idea what teeth it is. We're running out of room, but we can go a little bit bigger. Oh! Only 100? Yeah. Yeah, it's cutting out. Yeah, it seems cutting out. It's definitely cutting out. We're going to have to probably gear down. So yeah, you're, you're only hitting top speed? Yeah, it seems cutting out. So the big opinion didn't make it catch fire, but it did make the speed controller go into cutout mode. Big opinions put more load on the whole entire system, so you have to gear down. Trouble is, when you gear down, you get less wheel speed, and it's a balancing act trying to get that maximum top speed without it all cutting out or catching fire. A bit disappointed, guys. I was really expecting it to go a little bit faster. This is a 3200 kV motor. If you don't know what that means, that means a lot. That is over 100,000 RPM. And the motor is not rated for that. I think we're just asking way too much from the system. It's just not going any faster. Faster. So I think we're going to get a lower KB motor, big opinion, and then we're going to try again. Anyway, let's have a look at the post. Oh, it's Christmas every day. So we've got some adapters here from a tyre lathe. The idea of that is, is so we can make tyres perfectly round, and that should gain us a few more per hour. So we're going to have a look at the rest of the parcels, and then we're going to give this a little blast. Oh, that's boring. Heat sink. Check it out. We've got a 36 kg servo. Not sure what we're going to put it in yet, but I'm sure we'll find something. We've got a Dirt Cheap 6S ESC. And that is for the Project Dirt Cheap 100 mile an hour RC car. And I've also got a body for it. Check this out. My buddy painted this. And we've got another car the same as a spare because we're probably going to end up crashing it. And this way, we've got all the spare parts. Oh, check this out, guys. We've got a whole load of new camera gear. We'll be testing that out soon. I've had a GoPro 360 and killed it. So this time, let's try the Insta360. And we've got another little mini rock crawler. We've got a brand new body for the infraction that my buddy painted. Video on that very soon. This lathe, you get different adapters for different wheels. The trouble is with this lathe, it's actually made for smaller wheels. We've only got a 12 mil hex. These are 17 mil hex. So I've got a 12 to a 17 mil hex adapter. Then we can get on the wheel and... Maybe that. I've also had to modify this lathe and I've had to drill two new holes underneath and move this whole bed outwards to give it more space. So this is one of the tyres that was on the car when it caught fire. So as you can see, look, it's gone kind of egg-shaped. Well, that part of the tyre there is all burnt away. So hopefully we can lave it down and make it nice and round again. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting better. Beautiful. Better than you. Guys, I'm itching to get this car to go 100 mile an hour off-road. We're going to order up that new motor. We're going to play about some different speed controllers. Guys, we've got to hit 100 mile an hour off-road. Guys, in this video, we're going to show you the cheapest way to make your RC car a lot faster. And not just a little bit faster, guys, a lot faster. And the way that we're going to do it is by playing with the gearing, by fitting a bigger pinion gear. That is the gear on the end of the motor. You gear it up and the car's going to go a lot faster. So no damage anywhere. <laughs> the perfect backflip. There we go. So we've jacked up the back and put the front down. So now hopefully it's going to go a bit faster. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Guys! So the first ever video on this channel was of this RC car here. And it's also the car 
they got my YouTube channel first noticed. And almost all of my early videos were of this car. Anyway, I sold it to my buddy Vinny about four years ago. And now, I've gotten it back. So this is going to be a nostalgia video. Is it going to survive? <laughs> oh, it's cut out. Footage. Oh, look, Vinny's got his brand new one. How's the upgrade? It's just a little bit better. Speed one. Yeah. Ready, steady, go. Oh my god. She's lively. I don't know why this X Max is so fast. It's always been fast. Oh, it's broken. Oh, shaft cell. Oh, you killed a car. Already? I think they're using worse materials. Yeah. Man, this X Max is so fast. Why is it so fast? What? Oh. Yes. <laughs> so, luckily for Vinny, we have the spares. Monkey metal, it's gotta be. It's funny how it broke so easy. Mm. <laughs> Guys, this here is where Grumpy Man was giving us hell. I win! If anybody knows, let me know in the comments why is there a random gate and no fence? Make sure you close it, don't want nothing escaping. First to top, ready, steady, go! Oh no! Oh no! Alright, come on, come on, we can do it. Oh, Vinny's crashed. Oh yes, and we win! Oh! Nice. Oh, where's mine going? I thought he was going to go around the inside. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, I've got more poo on the back. Have you? Yeah, look. Oh, are you on your finger? No. <laughs> oh, mine's gone. Oh, yes. Yes, we did it. I don't want to go near Vinny, so he's got poo on it. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Where is the pup? Is it still on there? I think it's gone now. <laughs> Angry golfers. So Vinny's going for a battery change. What are you running? Zop power. <laughs> oh, Vinny's X Max is making a funny noise. What do you reckon that noise is? Give us a comment down below. Oh, look, could this be a loop the loop? New donk. Maybe not. Let's give it a go anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, what happened? It cleared that one. Yeah. I didn't hit that one. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, it's on the bearing. I reckon you should give it a go. No. Finish it. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> All right, fresh location. One knob are gone, two knob has turned up. <laughs> oh. Got to be kind on this one. Still doing alright though for an old girl. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 
Oh, a bit falling off. Man, we gotta stop having all these discos in here. Check this out, we've got some new cameras. So guys, you're gonna see some funny, special, funky effects in this video, and you're probably gonna be wondering, how the hell did he get these shots? Well, it's with these cameras here. All oh, right, that's enough waffle. Let's go play. Here we are on location. We got Vinny and Dave in the house with their toys. A bit naughty. Vinny's got the Delta Plastics Jaguar body shell. <laughs> I think we're not too bad. A little bit there. Sorry, Sniffy. <laughs> I hope I ain't killed the lens. Oh, one oh. side's okay, but the oh. down. Oh, I don't want to look, I don't want to look. That's oh. yeah, alright. Right. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What happened? Oh look, literally the first corner, the lens has got it. Oh, the body got it as well. Oh, yeah. There. Oh, what? There. All down there. Oh. What happened? You killed it. I can't believe I killed it the first time I turned it on. What are you doing, Vinny? Can you have a little go of polishing it for you, mate? Well, it's better than it was. Let's put it back on and see what the footage looks like. Here's a challenge, you've got to drift it around one of the wheels. Oh, nearly done it. Vinny drift under the tyre.
Oh, our battery's gone flat. Oh, really? He's got some drone action on the go. He's got his drone all the way up there somewhere. To set him a challenge, he's got to land it on the roof of the Rover Guinea. <laughs> Can you do it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. <laughs> no balls. God, on the roof. Weak signal. On the roof. I'll pay for the damage if you crash it. <laughs> Aircraft not connected. Oh no! <laughs> You're paying for this as it's on camera. <laughs> oh no! Has he gone? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, is he gone? It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> you better get your truck and go get it. Where's it gone? <laughs> Over there. Guys, it's gone. Go and buy me a new one. <laughs> Parcel time! Oh, someone in the comments told me to get this. Apparently, it's the same as sugar on bodies, but a lot cheaper and a lot easier to put on. Got a few paint brushes at handy for cleaning. It's so a nice little trick that I learned. You get a baby wipe, and you see all that dirt on the car, you give it a nice little wipe and it makes it look brand new, gets all the dirt off, and puts a little bit of oil on there to keep the plastic looking brand new. The only trouble is it can be difficult to get into little tight areas. So you get your baby wipe, get the brush on there, you can even wrap it around the brush, and it gets into all the little nooks and crannies, and it makes your RC car look all nice and new again. So before and after. So I learned that little trick from Mike Craddock, and if you want to learn little tricks like that, and hundreds of other little tricks, then I'm going to put a link down below to Mike's RC Masterclass. Hmm. Didn't even order that. No idea where that's come from. Says on there, Kevin Talbot, YouTuber. No idea where that came from. If it came from one of you guys, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, look, we got a cordless jigsaw. <laughs> oh, yes. Also, this turned up earlier. I didn't bother unboxing it on camera, but we've got a nice little impact converter set. Because very soon, we're building this monster truck. So here you can see how floppy it is with it not connected. And now let's fit it on. Boom! Check it out guys, that's made the rear end so much more rigid. <laughs> guys, that's made it so much more stable. Hey, tumble rumble. Oh, all right, let's get it out in the real world. So here we have a track for a rock crawler. So now let's see if the rock bouncer can make it round. Oh, ho, ho, that's why they call it a rock bouncer. <laughs> oh, straight over. <laughs> Come on, Tony, have a go at this. We got the boss in the house. Try and do it slowly. So here you can see the brushless motor system definitely struggling and it's cogging. And cogging means it cannot make its mind up if it wants to go backwards or forward. I think you need to give it a bit more power, mate. <laughs> oh, and he clears the whole lot. <laughs> That's how you do it. Go on, Tony. Let's get it out there. <laughs> no. And now it's my go again. <laughs> That's how you do it. We're gonna hit the race track. It's not a racer, but can it race? Oh! Ready? Steady? Go! Oh! My challenge is to not come last. Oh, what? <laughs> so now we're just putting the 4S LiPo, one of these Gen Ace bashing series. Got the GPS on there. So now let's see how fast it can go. Here we go, flat out. Oh, where's it going? Oh, tumble, one ball. Needs a new servo saver. Where's it going? Oh! Da, 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 da. Was that the rock bouncer? Yeah, what happened? Come on, come on it. You should get it out. Go on then, dig him out. Thanks, mate. All right, let's see how fast he went. What do you reckon? I reckon 40. I don't know how fast that went. All right, have a look. Can I have a go at that? Yeah, 38 mile an hour. What? You can't have a go, but the servo saver's gone. Oh. See the steering nook. Oh. Go on then, have a go. Flat out, floor it. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Axe, you're tough, baby. Yeah, you give it up. Do you want me to carry it, mate? Yeah. Yeah. You can lift it? Yeah. All right, you're doing well. Well, here goes Martin. Whoa. Oh, Spockage. Oh, 103 for hard cars, limitless. What did Martin get? 109. Whee. My friends are not impressed with the noise. In this video, we're going to bash that. Footage. Yourself over. Oh, the clutch has seized up. Game over. How unfortunate. Oh, yeah, okay. that was the shortest video ever. <laughs> five. So we're back in the shop. We're going to fix it, and then we're going to take it out and give it a rip. Look, ah, ha ha ha! Look, that screw's come loose. So I reckon that screw there was rubbing inside here, and it was making some clicking noises before. So that is probably it. So we'll do the bolt up, get the engine back in, and then we'll take it out for a rip. Let's go. So while I wasn't looking, my car rolled off and nearly ran over Claire. I'm going to really carry one of them. That's cool. And X Max is trying to make me dirty. All right, let's go. Let's let it win. Bison, 8ST, like a Creighton, 6S, we've got TRX4, we've got another X-Max, another X-Max, Vortex, another Creighton. Look at that for a lineup. Ready, steady, go, 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 go! So with no idea where the end of the racetrack was, I went to the end of the field and everybody else turned round early. I don't know, I've gone too far. I was first, I'm last. Yeah, it might be a broken X-Max now. Oh, as usual, big motor, big speed controller, lots of lipos. I've just had a Max 5 die as well. Oh, what's going on with this? It looks a bit longer than normal. Is that yours? Yeah. Mojave chassis, only got the old metal diff cases. Oh yeah, metal metal diff. Motor out of an Outcast 8S. It's nice. so it might be um, a no-go. We've got to take a run up from over there and hit that ramp flat out, full speed, to the moon and beat 60 foot, hopefully. Who's got the world record at the moment? Is it you? Me. How high have you been? Uh, 
56 for the north this round. So we've got to beat 56. We're going to be trying hitting this at about 60 mile an hour. Waffle, waffle, waffle. <laughs> Off. Did the GoPro go higher? Alright, here we go. Stop, read. Da, 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 da. Oh, is that it? Was it 49 feet? Yeah, yeah you got 50, 50 something. 52. 52 here. Uh, 56. 56 We're good. Let's go again. Alright, but I want to see how high you can do it because it is wet. Okay. Tumbly wumbly. Oh dear. <laughs> Tough, baby. That is the end of that. What's the plan, mate? 60 foot. 60 foot. Go, flat out. Here we go. No. I reckon you've done less than me, mate. So I got 49 foot in the wet. 49 feet. I got as well. a, that wasn't. That was not 49. That didn't look like 49. No. It wasn't. no. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't 49 Didn't foot. Like 49 Definitely feet. not. I was lucky to be 20 foot. Because Martin, oh my god, I went up. Oh! Alright, here he goes. Wow. Wow. No, that went up. I reckon that could have beaten mine actually. 59! Oh, no! What? He got 59. You might as well call it 60. That's got to be the world's highest RC car jump ever in the world, ever. ever, in the world. ever, ever it's got to be, innit? I was going to blame it on the wet ground. We are on location and check it out, guys. We got all the way from over there, all the way to over there. We got Andy and Andy as a vantage point. Guys, we're going to get some speed. We're not really sure which way to go because this is actually quite a rough surface. This surface over here is smoother, but we've got joins. I don't know how that's going to respond when you're going fast, but I guess we'll see in a minute. Got 12S LiPo on this side for that motor. Another 12S on this side for that motor. 24 cells in total. All right, so how do we start this thing? Good to go. So here's the moment of truth. Oh, and I'm right. having range issues. And oh. we hit a lump on the floor. What? The wheel light just come out. Where? Yeah. No, the wheel light just come out. What? Well, how did that come out? Did I hit a stone? Probably. Oh man, this is too rough, isn't it? It's a new belly now, might as well go for it anyway. So here we go for the second attempt. So we hit the joint in the runway, air got under it, and game over. Oh, no. oh. You hit a little bump and it was just the belly's done. Oh no, no. Is that a tire gun? What's your expert opinion, mate? What happened? Oh, do you reckon that's what caused it? Oh, look at that. It still moves. Look what it's done to the lipo. We'll stop. Oh my! Yeah, we'll stop. It, it, it up again. 138. <laughs> so it went faster than last time. So next, we attempt to get a thumbnail. <laughs> He's laughing. The crashes are the <laughs> probably. Oh! We can probably go again, to be fair. Yeah. Oh well. Could have been worse. Could have been out. <laughs> oh. oh dear. 
game over. Back to the shop, we get it rebuilt. We... What's it gonna look like? <laughs> game over, Martin said. Oh look, it's all slaughtered there. Yeah, yes, these are fine, that's the main bit. So, this was Dave's idea, Hardcore RC. There you go, give yourself a shout out. There you go, check them out on their YouTube. They set this up for me, which is a plain receiver to that, and that should give it how much range? About 3,500 meters. Yeah, and that was probably about 400, wasn't it? And this cut out. This is supposed to do 600 and it cut out on 400. Someone give him a hug. Give him a hug. <laughs> oh, group hug. <laughs> <laughs> so we learned a valuable lesson that fast RC cars and uneven grounds don't mix. So I've just got it on my editor and we can actually look at it frame by frame to see what happened. So here we go. We're going across the relatively smooth bit of runway and here we can actually see the car is already squatting a little bit on the back, which is not really what we want. We want the rear to be higher than the front. The minute that the rear gets lower than the front, the air can get under it, it can flip up, and then, you know, you, you saw what happened. So anyway, we come up to a bump here, and as we get to there, you can see the whole suspension of the whole car compresses. And then off here is like a little step, and now we can see the whole car is actually in the air. So forward a few more frames, it's airborne, the, the rear end comes down, and now the front is higher and that is the moment of no return the air gets underneath and it's game over bomb bomb that's it about 138 mile an hour at this point completely game over and now as the car lifts up at this angle the air gets under it underneath the body shell and folds the sides up in a minute guys we're gonna have a look at all the damage in detail and then at this point here the revs go through the roof the foam tires explode look you see all the bits of foam everywhere and then we go around to one backflip. Two backflips, a roll, a corkscrew, God knows what else. Bang, there it lands on the floor. Scrapes its way down the concrete and comes to a rest. So let's see that again on the second camera angle. So here, here we can see the suspension compresses. It goes over the bump and boom, we're gone. Air gets under it gone. There we can see the body folded back again, look. This RC car is so fast that we need protection. <laughs> and there we got a stamp over there. Oh! Go a little bit more. No, I ain't mate. I'll take it through here then. Some flex articulation. Got the diff blockers going. Yeah, you're done, mate. Mission achieved, mate. I didn't get you stuck. <laughs> <laughs> not used to going off road these days, are you, Kev? It's not got stuck there. It looks bad. Everything's isn't it? illegal, Kev. You're not allowed to do anything nowadays. <laughs> Is your lottery still alive? Still alive, isn't she? The old technique. <laughs> <laughs> oh, easy! Let's have a look at our little bodgery. I've gone from chain <laughs> to um, rod in DIY. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's Go, 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 go! God! Oh Jesus, this thing's too fast. <laughs> that poor camera. I can't even go flat out with this, this thing's crazy. Full power there. I can't, it'll just flip over. Oh, camera, 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 camera. Come on, come on. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. I've got a challenge. Can we hit that lump, clear the sand pit and land on top of that? If we get it wrong and hit that, it's like hitting the wall. Oh, what's going on, Stamp? <laughs> he said his computer came out. Oh, and he done it! He done it! Oh! Oh, overheated. We do, Steve. Well, put the lid back on it, hold it in, won't it? <laughs> it's been 10 minutes, we're still baking hot. Have you seen? Oh. Yes, we are back in action. Oh. <laughs> look at old Stimp's little modification there, well, look. This is Stimpy's engineering, isn't it? Do you think that's going to outlast that side? Yeah, that, that'll live and die with the car, mate. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. Stempy reckons he can beat me in a race. We'll see about that. What's that, S3 and S8? 3S versus 8S. Got my tyres coming off. Go! 
<laughs> oh, I think I beat you, Sam. Uh... <laughs> All right, new challenge. We gotta go flat out and see who can get in there down that path to Ferdy. Go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fred. Oh, easy. Oh, yeah, look. Can you make it up there? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, oh, straight down. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's them done. Yeah, that's the old Spurgeon. So, eh? listen. Oh, so now with Stempy broken, we get to a new location to do a durability test. How many of them are just farted, do you reckon? Probably all of them. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on over there? They think we're mad. Here we go, new location. This location's a little bit more abusive. Oh, what? I was talking. Were you? Yeah. Oh, I was go on in. Actually, talking and you interrupt me. Go on then, make a racket. No, you put me off. Go on then, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the Mini Max. Go on then. No, you put me off. <laughs> mini Max to the moon. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so now that Mrs. Happy has gone away, we can have some fun. Anyway, before we got rudely interrupted, we've now got a more durability testing friendly location. <laughs> Location. I've got my Clayton 4S. Vinny's got his Clayton 6S EXB. There we go. 4S versus 6S. It's a little bit longer, mm. but there's not that much in it. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Oh. Oh. Oh, 6S for the win on that one. Oh. 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 oh my god! Jesus Christ! Wheels, wheels, wheels. Yes! Man, this is a lively little thing. Meow. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, made up the first one. Oh yes, Vinny's one. He's running race tyres on there. We're running the Outcast tyres. Ready for launch in the dirt. Go! Oh, in the dirt. Tumble wumble. What have we got going on over here? Oh, We've got the backflip tree. How many times have we come to this tree and then broken it and gone home? Um, yeah. Oh, nailed it! Your go. No, I'm going to break it. Oh, that could have been a backflip. Oh, yeah, Tom. Nailed it. Right, so if we look over there, look, we've got danger all the way up. I reckon that's a perfect drag strip. Ready, steady, go. Oh, we've broken many of X Max's wishbones coming down this bit here. Oh, just went through it. I might carry mine. Next challenge. We've got a hill there, and then we've got to go flat out across this, and flat out up there. First to go over the top of that hill. No idea what's over the top of it wins. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes, I've got I've won. Oh. Oh, my oh, my God. That is the biggest tumble wumble ever. All right, you win the tumble wumble challenge. I'll try and beat you that. Oh, 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 oh. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh. Will it go as far as Vinny? Oh, oh, did I hear something crack though? Oh, Vinny wins, just so, look. So now you're about to see some snazzy shots on that. If you want to know what this is and where you can buy one from, link down below. Ah. In this video, we are going to the Goodwood Festival of Speed, one of the world's most prestigious motorsport and car events. They also have a Traxxas stand, so we're going to see if we can gate crash it. Here we 
we have a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. I would love one of these one day. And here we have DMO DJ's Hurricane Performante Twin Turbo. Oh, look, we're at the track set. Go on, do something cool for YouTube. <laughs> That's a challenge. You gotta hit that ramp, and then you gotta clear that little bar over there, and then not go through the sign. Ian has a brainwave. You know where you're going wrong? Is you put one of the little ramps under that ramp. Yeah! I reckon I can get over that. Check out some of these Traxxas models on display. Check this out, we got the new Bronco. First one in the UK. Hey, we got the boss. The car didn't show us his skills. Oh no, no that's too much pressure. Yeah. Go there, show him how it's done. Oh, there we go. What did you say about women driving? Women driving. Good Ian showing the wife how it's done. Check this out, the brand new Traxxas, uh, bloody blood, drag slash. And look at that, supple. We are in the enclosure. Whoa. <laughs> just protect the poster. Kevin's driving. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now we should get some more elevation. <laughs> Next, they make the mistake of giving me a faster car. Oh, there you go, mate. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> so we make a swift exit and admire some more big cars. That was Travis Pastrana, and it was loud. Oh, I missed it. Here we have Aston Martin. Um, actually, I think they're Banggood Specials. What is it? I've never seen one. Here's the new Hurricane STO. I don't know, what do you reckon, guys? I reckon the front end looks like a little bit like a goldfish. And here we've got the brand new Aventador Ultimate. What is going on here? Check this out, guys. Unfortunately, the posh people of Goodwood do not find it amusing. This is not working. Just try standing up behind somebody. ...and become a businessman, and then through that, you're a Chevrolet dealer. No, nothing. Oh, how could you not look at that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> now with the childishness over, we have a look at some shops and watch some drunken adults in a children's play area. What happened? Maybe an open bottle of water. <laughs> what happened? We made it so. We got a new toy. And this one's tiny and stupidly fast. <laughs> oh. And now one. That's vicious! Jesus! Oh my god! What? What? Fred! What? How can that little thing go so far? <laughs> Reed! Oh, 58 mile an hour! What? What you got, Ian? I've got a very slow time yet. I'll tell you what, though, that does look absolutely epic! Clear nose! Ready, steady, go! 
See ya! Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. oh no, oh, dry shaft's off. As, oh yeah, you lost a bit in the middle. Game over. It's arrived! <laughs> Look at that cheesy grin. <laughs> So we are trying to build the world's best monster truck. The trouble is, we have not got a clue what we're doing, but we're gonna give it our best shot anyway. And in this video, we've got the first big shipment, and we're gonna start the build. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he's, he's cuddling it already. Yeah, he is. Give it a kiss, Kev. Look at it. Yeah, look, show the camera. So we got to get all this lot out, all the way up to the back there. Hasn't moved. Good driving, isn't it? Yeah, it's a spanner with a spanner. Big spanner. <laughs> now, first to come off are the axles. Now, these weigh one ton each. They cost $40,000 each. And I've had these custom made to be a little bit wider than a normal monster truck. Oh! That's just the There we go, set up. I'm going down. Right, I'll go straight in with them. Where you want it? Yeah, I'll do it out there. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, we got the first one in. <laughs> <laughs> You'll start building it before it's even out, right? <laughs> Work hard, play hard. <laughs> I can see your butt. Go So can YouTube. <laughs> so here we got the body and this is a Chevy C10. So here we got the tires. These are 66 inches tall, 44 inches wide, and this is what makes it a monster truck. <laughs> so in this shipment we have nearly everything that we need to finish this monster truck the only thing we're still waiting for is the engine and the transmission and that should be here in the next few weeks it's not very often to see you doing a bit of manual labor is it oh it's christmas every day oh, mate, the noise. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most fun unboxing ever the last time i was excited is when i got that man away oh 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 <laughs> you nearly oh, fell off then. oh oh Oh, you ready? You ready? You ready? <laughs> Look at that! Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, Any idea what that is? Uh, it's a solenoid. It's a solenoid. No idea where it goes. No idea. <laughs> that's, that's a bolt. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. What's that? that? Instruction manual. Instruction manual for your rear steer, Kev. Ah, result. These are sway bar blocks, I believe. What's that? <laughs> How are we going to build this? Uh, what? what is it? Well, it's got tank written on it. I know what, mate. Oh, I know. This is a hydraulic tank. I think that's all to do with your rear steer kit. Here somewhere, I think. <laughs> somewhere in there. Here's a body mount. This is my little rear steer little doo -doo 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 body mount. That's all stuff we've got to weld. Oh, I know what these are. These are sway bars. Oh, it's Christmas every day. Look at that. Look at that, that's a piece of work. I know where these go. You haven't stopped smiling yet today. <laughs> Pine joints, they call it in the States. We call it rose joints or rod ends over here. It's surprising that that actually holds the axle on, isn't it? That's the first box, it doesn't weigh anything. I think these are exhaust. Oh, gauges. Oh, wow. Cables, all of those little bits. Brake cylinder, probably. We've got monster truck, harness bag eight. I think it's all pre made. Look at that. <laughs> I bet it's gonna be heavy. I don't know what a jack shaft is. I know it's part of this though. <laughs> I think it's this. Yes. So here we got the transfer box. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Nuts and bolts. Oh, that's the cage. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hell is a rotor. I'm guessing it's something to do with a centre drive shaft. Oh. That's a rotor. That bolts. Into the Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the, the dry shaft safety cage. So I think it goes on like that. Oh, we're in. The first part of the build. <laughs> 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 
Ready? Oh, we on? It's actually on? Yeah. What? Told you. That was too easy. I thought it was going to be hard. <laughs> so here we've got the four link bars that hold the axles on. Oh, I'm a tripod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing with your nuts, Kev. Oh, <laughs> Ian, you happy about that? Well, I'm playing with them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Are we fun there, Claire? Teddy! <laughs> Next, we put the axles into position, ready to mount them. It's nice enough to be a pain in the back. So here I'm just cleaning out a little bit of paint in the holes to make the bolt slide in. Hey, we're on! Too easy, we're professional. <laughs> Get rid of the skinny. Next, the front axle. So these small wheels are just here for working on it and for transporting it. <laughs> Next, it's time to mount the shocks. The fronts are 26 inch travel, the rears are 30 inch travel. Yeah, oh. Oh, right, hang on. If you lean on the front. I'm not heavy enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, the shock's moving. Look, look at that. <laughs> going, going. Right, so I think we need to do a bit of rockage again or something. I don't need a lot. Why is it so easy? I'm going to keep near that. Oh! Ooh! Ha 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 Go in. So we have a minor problem and the angle grinder takes care of it. So in this box we have the world's fastest radio controlled boat and in this video we're going to unbox it, set it up and then take it out for a rip. Who we got out here? Here he is. Has he got stamp approval? Yeah, man, that is sick. <laughs> Leave him alone, man. <laughs> Got all the toys in the back. Not again. This one's not a submarine. What, 120 mile an hour submarine? No, this Why one, not? This one's not a submarine. That is definitely going to be a submarine. No. <laughs> Why did I do that, Vin? I don't know. Is it broken? I think so. That's what it's like driving an Land Rover on 37 inch Trepidors. We have arrived. Crack him open, Stemp. Round two. We got the speed boat. We got Ooh. the. I already oh. stemped it already. Oh, you <laughs> told it out. He's <laughs> about to say stemped it. Get him out, boy. Get the old lump out. Do your unboxing. Get it in gear. Is it? <laughs> oh, we do hold it up again. Some expert in the comments said if you rev it out the water, yeah. then you knacker it. Well, that split second. Apparently so. Come on, where's the, where's the muscles, boy? Mm. Oh, done. What's so hard about that? <laughs> No, he goes to the gym. My hands are all slippery. He's a gym man. What? <laughs> <laughs> so reliable, mate, these engines. They weren't when you pushed me out. Oh, I know, I know. In the last video, a few people complained that we wasn't wearing the proper health and safety gear. Oh, all right. Here you go. <laughs> get, get him on, mate. Token. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going up that river with all this crap. Yeah. If you fall in, you're going to drown. You need it. There's <laughs> 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 one, Kev. <laughs> oi, oi, Kev. Yeah? You, you need some safety equipment as well. I've got you something here. Oh, nice. Look, go with your T-shirt colour. <laughs> what have I got? I've got a, I've got a unicorn. <laughs> You've got a unicorn, Kev. <laughs> well, that's not going on, is it? Why not? <laughs> well, look at that. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sneak your arm in now. <laughs> Whose idea is all this, Kev? What have you? Was it? Be safe. 
Oh, I suppose they care about us then. If you're sinking, you'll be glad you got this on. <laughs> oh, I've got your other one. Well, what's this now? <laughs> Life ring. <laughs> I stepped like pink here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, Kev. Jesus. <laughs> oh, you fired! <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Whose idea was it to have all this PPE, man? We're off, boys. <laughs> <laughs> goes that way and then look around there fight goes that way we're going to run this thing on 3s first see how fast it goes and if it's not fast enough then we're going to run it on 6s so we go we're starting off on two free cell lipos got gps on there got the gopro on there so those batteries are going to just make it quick it says you can run it on free cell yeah so we're going to start off on free cell but the esc says it can take six cell Ooh, so, that's so we're gonna going to be... see how fast it goes on the free cell and then we're going to put a six cell in a bit later super duper quick then. well i don't know it might blow up it might go fast it might it might even go 100 on those batteries i don't know <laughs> what happens oh dude <laughs> Yeah, it's got to be submarine, doesn't it? Kev, <laughs> we're not above a storm. I've got an umbrella, but it's in the car. <laughs> That's like thunder. Is that safe? <laughs> I don't know, bro. What with all this? Is that like an antenna? <laughs> yeah, probably. Here we go. Go for it. Oh, that's going to go off a bit. Oh, is it? Is it? <laughs> Oh, that's that out. What? That's, that's not, not. That's not right. No, that can't be flat out, can it? Feels like it needs to change gear. How fast was that? That was 27. What? It was on 6s. That's only going to go 60. What's going on here then? I don't know, but something's not quite right. Stems go. Punching by my submarine. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you can bounce it like that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've never set the GPS off because the GPS isn't waterproof. Yeah, no, he's definitely not waterproof. He's just turned off. Oh, is he? I think he's had it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 I hold it, it might be able to push oh, the boat. Oh, move the boat? Forward, yeah. Drive the boat, yeah, yeah. go on then. Oh, go on then, put it out. <laughs> oh, that's got, more, that's got more power than this. <laughs> Oh, you can see it. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on, we're losing the dinosaur. <laughs> oh, oh, no, he's overboard. Oh, no. <laughs> hold on, Kev. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, how did that come what back to me? hell? Whoa. Water, I don't get it. Oh, oh she's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Oh, whoa. How did he come back? <laughs> I don't know. So something's come loose. We don't have any tools. So we've got to make do. Do you not lock tight all this when you put it together? Well, I did that one, but this one was already on. Oh, right. Oh, it's thundering over there. My health and safety has deflated, and the rest of the health and safety is over there. Have oh, you got health and safety for this? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Go through that. <laughs> Boom! Just put the 6S's in there, 6S and 6S. Hopefully that's going to make it go about 55 mile an hour, but we're not going to know because our GPS died, it got wet. Is it going to go epic? Hopefully. <gasps> oh. oh, why is it steering by itself? I don't know. So I think water's gotten into the receiver and the servo, and they're not waterproof, so I think we're back to the drawing board on this one. Ignoring the interference issues, we decide to go anyway. Good, man. It's moving now. Yeah. I don't think it's moving 100, but... There you go. Oh! <laughs> Stempies go. Easy, easy. Don't crash it, man. It's fiberglass. Oh, well done. Oh! <laughs> What are you doing? Oh wait, that is a trick, that is. <laughs> oh. oh, what? 
If you're gonna, oh, you idiot. I think the electrics have got wet again. It's misbehaving. I think that's changed the receiver, aren't you? No, oh, don't, 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 don't piss them off, Stem. They're very vicious. Gotta get out of here. Here. Yeah. So it appears that the swans weren't hungry, or they don't like us. Oh, he's wagging now. I think we pissed him off. It's starting to thunder and lightning. We've got to make it back. Stem before it's a good idea to go miles out. Man, we're getting soaked now, but we've got to help and save it. Man, we're still miles to go yet. Yeah. Are we there yet? on camera but it was thundering and lightning and it was close. Just have like nitros. Yeah. In there, in there you go. Right here. Oh, mate, that is neat. No, that. Oh, oh. <laughs> what do you want about that? Crack him open, lad. What's happened here? Why you, you Just went, crack him open. You went happy, didn't you? <laughs> I might have done. Crack him open, running out of film. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's an 18, what a guess. Is it an 18? Yeah, <laughs> you got to run it in. It needs running in professionally. I'm the man for this. <laughs> Check it out, guys. What do you reckon? I reckon it looks absolutely epic. What does Stem reckon? Yeah, really good, boys. So we've got double wishbone suspension, front and rear. Coilover shocks. 18 size nitro engine. Huge pipe. That's certainly going to be fast being plastic, Kevin. <laughs> Supple. We've got a metal chassis, metal drive shafts. Anything else you want to add? What's that noise now? Yeah. What else have we got going on in here? Servos, transmission, fuel tank. You can get a two-speed transmission that FTX make and all the FTX spares actually fit that car. So even though you can get the parts from Banggood, if you're in the UK or anywhere else where they sell FTX stuff, you're covered with parts. You know, that is a screwdriver that I used to build my first RC car. The Tamiya Manta Ray. Oh, that's no. asking for one away. This is. That's it. This is a bit of luck. What are you doing? 10 you, amps, here it comes. You charging that little battery on 10 amps? Yeah. This is doing some health and safety. You brought it outside. You worry too much. This says it can do 10. It can do 10. <laughs> oh. We're getting toasty. All right, here we are on location. Stempy's glow thing didn't blow up, so we're good on that one. Didn't. Why do you keep teasing everyone? <laughs> Here's my one. Mine's a short course. I think it's the same as that, pretty much. It's a bit longer and a bit wider. It only took three and a half minutes to fully charge it. <laughs> Madman. All right, go on and get him going. You run him in, are you? Four. <laughs> do you run real cars in? Run it in fast. It'll be fast, won't it? Super quiet servos on this. <laughs> I don't got to go up something. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> a bit lean, do you reckon? Oh, that smells hot. Yeah, I thought that. 
<laughs> oh. oh! Oh! Dude, that is super hot. Well, that's one in now. I think you've got to have a little bit of overheat, haven't you? <laughs> Kev's tuning, i.e. knackered. Ah, oh, he's melting <laughs> it. Back to the shop, get another glow plug, and then we'll be back in action. That should be enough for him. Bad enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have the short course version, same car pretty much, a little bit wider, a little bit longer, and I've fitted a two-speed transmission. Two-speed gearbox, here we go! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Here we are, fresh location in the world's best skate park. The world's best tune-up. <laughs> Go on. Oh. <laughs> Body running crap now. Got a central tuning there. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What happened? That's the way to treat a gift, eh? Oh! What? Oh. <laughs> Armour must have made this chassis. Guys! We got a new toy! Straight over. Next, can we make it across the Bridge of Doom? On. Oh, we're falling. We're falling off. No, 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 Guys, in this video we have the world's smallest radio controlled street racer. There we go, ready for them to rip. Gentlemen, start your engine. Stimpy's on the limit, huh? I've got the anti lag, haven't I? Ready, ready, go! Whoa! Oh, we all have to be off so fast! <laughs> so Stempy won the race. Burnout time. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next, I reckon the drag race. Ooh, we're getting some bounce there. All right, first to get over to the Raminator. Ready, steady, go. Oh, Stempy's gone and he's stopping. Here we have a couple of dirt cheap professional radio controlled drift cars. Look at that, what a service. He's got a full valet set in there. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> pest control, isn't it? <laughs> You're the pest. <laughs> it smell, just smells like being in an iCloud. So next, we've got to build a racetrack. Is that a different up there or not? Uh, no, it looks a bit crap from up here. <laughs> we'll make it look good in the editor. So Vinny's going to give it a quick test run with his one. Let's have a look. What you got going on in there then, dude? Surpass motor, quick run ESC, eco boost servo. Oh, that's, is it quick? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh no, what happened? Everybody ready? Ready, yep, yeah, everyone's ready. Guy in tone, shows us done. Loving the massive video at the front. Will the rock bouncer keep up with these other cars? That is the question. And we are crawling better now. Look, we are crawling. We have got some crawling ability, but we've also got the power for bouncing, which we will demonstrate in a minute. Well, these guys are making it over there pretty good. Tony leading the way. Oh, he's already stuck. Can the rift make it through? Oh, straight over. It's crawling pretty good. Here we go with the I don't know. And the six by six. Six by six making easy work of it. Oh, and what we got here? What's this car? TRX4 Sport. TRX4 Sport. Gun and Tony, show us how it's done. Oh, look at that, straight over. And he's rock falling pretty good as well. Look at that, made easy work of that. I've seen some videos, didn't you upgrade it? Yes, we're fully modified now. I know you have two cats. Ah oh, yes, we got two cats. Oh no, you well, fell off. First time we've handed the audio and then we've got pants and rocks so far. I've had one. Let's yeah, see how well it can go over the rocks. Oh, look at that, straight over. Tony's got the articulation, but has he got the power? Not really. Oh, no. Right, he's finally made it across. That extra weight from the mini body must have thrown it down. Yeah, and now you've got to make it over that bit and all the way over. All right, there he goes. Easy work for that. that. A 15 year old axial. There we go, we're rock bouncing it. Oh, look at that. Straight over with the bouncing. Oh, no. Oh, and the six by six is going. Tony's off. The ravine's off. Let's see if we can crawl it first. If we can't crawl it, then we'll bounce it. Oh, look at that. Straight over. <laughs> Tumble wumble. Next, we're going to have a race and see whose is the fastest. Here we got the contenders. Ready, steady, go. Oh, we fell over. Ready, steady, go. Oh, rock bounces fell over almost. Ah. Standing backflip attempt. No. <laughs> I'm scared, but we need footage of holding it flat out. He's up for doing it flat out, and the dad's up for holding it. So he's got that. It's all right, I've got kids, I don't need them anymore. Well, it hasn't blown. Where's the picture, boys? <laughs> Oh, we saved it. Oh, it took it. Took it. How did it take it? It takes it. Look at that. Look, it's still going. <laughs> How can it take it? Quite spoiled, isn't it? Ow! <laughs> Does it hurt? Uh, if you hit your shit, it hurts, yeah. <laughs> Anybody else want to go? No pass, thanks. Anybody else want to go? No. So in the next video, we're going to take the body back off again, store it away safely. Then we're going to mount all the interior, get all the gauges in, all that sort of stuff. Guys! So in the last video, we got this monster truck into a rolling chassis. In this video, we've got a few more parts to fit to it. So I want to get the body fitted and get one of the wheels on there to see what it's going to look like. So, so far, we've got the axles on. These axles are actually custom made to be a lot wider than a normal monster truck. If you look on most monster trucks, the shocks are a lot more vertical. And this one here, you can see them spread out a lot more. But check out the quality of all these parts, guys. I mean, you really have to see them in person to appreciate all this. We've used all the best parts for everything on this build. I want to go into that in more detail in a future video. All these parts here, they're all the strongest parts that you can buy. So today, I want to finish off mounting off the spade bars. We've got the drive shafts to put onto it. We've got more boxes of stuff in here. So let's start wrenching. Basically, what a spade bar does is stops the car from leaning too much. Fingers. I want to give you another one, fact. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, car, look at that. So that, I think I know where it goes. So this is the radiator for the engine coolant. Might be a shock off job. 
It is a shock off job. When in doubt, give it a clout. So. <laughs> So here we've got the transmission coolers because these gearboxes get hot. Here we've got the fuel tank. Here we've got the brake pedal assembly. So here we've got Tony from Swamp Thing. We had a few parts for him in the same shipping container so he came over for the day and gave us a little hand as well. Come in. This goes. Time to put the body on. <laughs> ah, that looks so cool. Next, we gotta get one of the big wheels on so we can see if the body lines up properly. No. We have a problem. It doesn't fit. Apparently, grinding down the hubs is a solution. We've got no gas. Here we're taking off the powder coating and a welding seam to try and give it a little bit more room. Ah, oh, guys, so the inside of the wheels, they do not fit over the hubs. I think it only literally needs like one or two millimeters taking off to bring it down a little bit. But also we've got the weld on here and that weld is gonna sit on there. It's got a slight radius here, but it's not enough. And we can't really take more of this off because then the wheel's gonna fall into that recess. So we're gonna have to grind this weld down a little bit as well. Not ideal, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So now we've gotta get the grinder out and destroy all this nice powder coating. Also, if you look at most Monster Jam trucks, they've got this inner bead stiffener that welds onto the rim. Mine don't have it on there. So I'm going to have to get a ring made and weld them on because if you don't, apparently, then you can bend the rim when you land big jumps. I suppose this thing being too easy had to come to an end at some point. Anyway, here's a picture of one of the big wheels on and the body on so you're going to get some idea of what it's going to look like. So now that we've got the body chilling on there, we now need to make the mounts. So the chassis has got these brackets on here. So we screw these plates to it like that and then we can have some body mounts coming off of there. I've got no metal, but I've ordered it and that should be here in the next few days. We can't fit the drive shafts yet because we're waiting for bolts to bolt this on. And on the front one we can't fit it because we need to make a bracket or see if we can order one that goes round there to hold one of these rotator things on there. This is what holds that yellow safety cage thing. But what we can do while we're waiting is fit one of these things onto here. This is too easy. Hey, what are you doing, Stem? Just having a bit of fun. This is the one, man. Best tool going, that is. Look how easy that is. And then that's where we put the Lexan panel on and then it gets held on with these little Zeus clips like that. We're all waiting for nuts and bolts, but while that's happening, we're going to watch a monster truck show. And then once we get back, hopefully, the nuts and bolts will be there. We can get the rest of the body mounted and the drive shafts. So I was hoping to take part in this show, but we never got the truck built in time. It is pouring it down. Here we've got Tony from Swamp Thing, who was at the shop earlier. Well, there he is, look, he's got his trophy. Oh, it's Christmas every day. Oh, check it out. We've got all the nuts and bolts turned up so we can now mount the body. We've got bolts for the pedals. But we really got to get the seat in there first so that we know where it all goes. We've got these jam nuts here for the rod ends. Let's get a little bit of grease on there so you guys don't tell me off. Then we can get one of these nuts on there. And the rod end, a rose joint, time joint, or whatever you want to call it. A bit more grease. Nuttage. Heim. So this here is the dry shaft safety loop. It goes around the outside of this and in case this blows up or something, it stops it all flying out and getting the crowd. Got the front one there ready as well, look. Next, we need to get this thing in my jig here and bolt it onto that. I suppose we better put a bit of grease on there. And a bit of Loctite. And then we've got to get another one onto the front here on the transfer case. 
The engine sits in there, transmission goes there. And then the main transmission turns this shaft here in the transfer box. And that's got a load of gears in there that puts the power down into here. So there you go, that's spinning around there. And if we look on the other end, that one there's spinning too. And then this draft shaft here connects this to the axle there. It's pretty much exactly the same as an RC car. Postman! Oh, it's Christmas every day! Oh yes, guys, I've been waiting for these. Now, we can bolt on that bearing block there, and now we can get all of this lot on. Somehow we've got to try and figure out how. Just look at the quality of these parts, guys. So next, I think we've got to get this piece here onto there. I haven't got a clue what we're doing, guys, so feel free to roast me in the comments. And we're running out of space in here as well now. So this has got to come off here, I think. And now we've got to fit it onto here. Hopefully I did it right. It looks good to me. This is too easy. So we've just had all the parts turned up so we can now make the body mount. We've got this rear hoop, we've got some plates. We've got a load of nuts and bolts. And I think we've got a weld that on there because that's where the hoop's gonna go and that's what's gonna hold the back of the body on. So here I'm just getting the paint off so that we can weld to it. So here we're welding the brackets onto the chassis. So next we've got to take the body off, we've got to grind a little bit more out. I want to get it to sit down as low as possible just because I think it's going to look better like that. We've got the back hoop on there, look. And then we can make all the outriggers that hold the body actually on. That's the plan anyway, we're probably going to mess it up. So now we've got to take the body back off so that we can grind it. Right, fire extinguisher next. <laughs> Have a go. <laughs> <laughs> He's bottled it already. <laughs> oh, it's been bad. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going and then get up and walk. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Have a go on that. No chance. <laughs> So now with the silliness over, let's get back to the horrible job of working with fiberglass. Oh People in the comments tell me off for not wearing a muzzle. I've got one on now. Alright, this butt's up flush. Ish. So here we're just making a few plates to hold the body together. Here, it doesn't line up at all. If you make it flush there, you've got a big gap there. And if you try and hold it there, we've got a gap there. I've made up a little plate. Hopefully, that's going to pinch it and pull it straight. Ian reckons it's going to crack. Oh, that corner will crack it. I reckon it's going to be all right. <laughs> we'll soon find out in a minute. You ready? Yeah. He was right. We'll find out. You were right. Ah. He was wrong. <laughs> so, luckily, the body didn't crack. Too easy. Is this like an RC car? It's exactly the same. So we've got the body all mounted on there. We've got it perfect in the right place. And next, we've got to weld these little tubes in and 
hopefully it's going to be in the right place. Oh, yeah, Pasha. Oh, shit, got fire. <laughs> so there we go, we've got the start of the front body mount made and next we've got to work on this one here. So we've cut these tubes here, so we're just going to weld that onto there, then that onto there. Next, we've got to curve the plate to fit the body. That'll do, it's only a toy. Some Here's a few clips of an X Max, and then we're gonna have oh. a right. <laughs> Claire's impressed. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that nailed, didn't he? What? What? How? How? I bet you can't do that again. <laughs> what? Do you know what? He's probably the best driver here. Yeah. Are you not all racing? Yeah. Everyone racing? Yeah. All right. Ready, steady, go! Go, 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 go! Oh, look at that, we're in second! Oh, we're in first, we're in first! Oh, yes! We got the lead, one more lap to go. All we gotta do is try and not crash, we might have it! We win! Bing, there we go. Who's the daddy? <laughs> Man, it's got a lot of power and it's got control. With that sensor system, we can go nice and slow. Then we can go fast. And then we can chuck it into low gear and crawl slowly. <laughs> now we can crawl and we can bounce. <laughs> Do it again, all right. <laughs> I really like it now. I am enjoying it. <laughs> this thing's epic now. Guys, this car's epic now. This is what it should have been all along. Come on, come we? Ah. Oh dear, what happened? What happened there? Broke a pin. This is a radio controlled rock crawler. And to this is how steep it can climb. 54 degrees. So the center of gravity of this truck is probably around about here. But if we were to bring that down, then we could crawl up even steeper. So we got a few upgrades. So here we've got a stock axle. So these are the portal housings. These are also made out of brass. And guys, this machining just looks absolutely perfect. Could this be 
the first ever four-wheeled crawler to get up on top of that bench. The only other crawlers ever got from there onto there was a six by six. And a rock bouncer, but that don't really count. Look at that, 57 degrees. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Come on, come on, come on. Oh yes, guys! That is the first time in history that a scale crawler, a four-wheeled one, has gotten up that slope and onto the bench. There we go. That is so much more stable, look at that. <laughs> All right, challenge number two. Let's see who can make it up that. It doesn't look steep, but it actually is quite steep. It looks flat on camera. Can you make it up? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Who put that there? <laughs> Come on! Oh look, we got food though. Yum, yum, yum. you got to have a look to see what we got under here. Look at this, there's some beauty, mate. <laughs> oh, look at that YB power. So what's that come out of? That's out of an old Sierra, mate. She's a 430 horsepower. She's got a T36 turbo, 750 cc Siemens injectors, big RS500 intercooler, breather system, We've got twin boost controller, wasted spark. We've got a bit of everything under there. We're going to take it out for a rip? Go for a rip, mate, yeah. We're going to scare the shit out of you. Hopefully. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Oh, check it out, guys. There's something special about these classic cars. Nothing modern can compare with it at all. You've got some trickery under there as well, haven't you? Yeah, special big old back axle, mate. Ooh. Got gripper limited slip diff in there. Did you hear that gripper limited slip differential in there, whatever that is, but it's in there somewhere. Five linked. Cell tank. Cell tank in the boot, group A fuel pump. Dustbin. Big bore boss. <laughs> and we've got anti-lag, haven't we? Anti-slag. <laughs> we'll, we'll show you that later. Yes. You will like that one. Oh, oh, oh. Deafening. That's anti lag and launch control. It's got launch control, mate. <laughs> see what the zero to 60 is and we're going to use this little performance analyzer here when i tried it on the lambo we got a 2.5 second 0 to 60 this car weighs just over 1300 kilos 640 horsepower craig's escort weighs around about 900 to 950 kilos 430 horsepower so power to weight it's pretty much the same. And seeing that this is one of the fastest street cars that you can buy, the Escort's gonna be pretty lively. Especially when you consider it's rear wheel drive, there's no traction control, none of that. It's just pure driver and machine. All right, let's go. <laughs> Boost on. Works. We messed it up. <laughs> oh, 
YouTube channel. If you want to see more of this car, we're going to have to head over there. Well, link we'll be link down below. but that is actually deafening. My ears are ringing. <laughs> so Craig scared me in the Escort, so oh, now it's my turn. <laughs> what are you doing, Kevin? Um, we're trying to scare Craig. Oh, I don't like being to fuck up here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh no, UK's in a fuel crisis. There's no fuel. And we're empty as well. Not good. Launch control. Oh, you can make me sick in a minute. What are we going from there, mate? Ah, I think we've got a rude boy. Oh, he's dropped it. Oh, look, no, he's left. He's left, yeah. He's left. Mate. Oh. Told me to get one, so I did. This is a Traxxas drag slash. So we got the steering, not the fastest, but it's adequate. And what you want to see, the power. Oh ho ho! Speed run, let's see how fast it can go. 3S LiPo! <laughs> let's see how fast it went. 55 miles an hour. 3.2. Ah, still bad. 2.95. We've got the high speed gearing. Just warming up. Right, high speed gearing in, and then we're going to go for round number three. And here comes ATS Steve. So uh, we've got a we've got a little bit of work to do to keep up with the professionals. Guys, welcome to part four of the world's best monster truck build. So in the last video we mounted the body, and in this video we're gonna take the body back off again and have a go at fitting the interior. No idea what we're doing, but we're going to try and make it up anyway. And in the next video after this, we're going to fit the engine. Big Brock Chevy V8. Okay. 
So now with the body back off, Ian is doing something. What are you doing, mate? Breaking the seat. Oh dear. Uh, uh, help! Help! So next, we've got to make some brackets to mount the seat. Too close to here because when we try a backflip and it goes wrong, we land upside down. We need a little bit of <laughs> need a little bit of headway. So next, I've got to get some metal so we can make the seat belt mounts and also mount the seat to the back of the frame there. So while we're waiting, let's get the front drive shaft on. We need to separate the drive shaft. There we go. Look, all lined up. I've just fitted the water pump to the roll cage here, and then we need to get a load of tubes and stuff to pipe it all up, but we'll do that later on once the engine's in. So guys, we have a solution, I think, for the wheels. I'm gonna send them away. I found a UK company, Farmer's Tire, and they're gonna cut this inner ring out, and they're gonna weld it closer to the edge here. But we have gotta remove one of the hubs from the truck so they can take the hub with them and make sure that it's definitely gonna fit. The problem is that the hub here, it does not fit inside the wheel here, it hits on here. So we've already ground this down and maybe we've gotta take a little bit more off and it's gonna go. But the problem is, is the weld here. That weld here is not gonna clear this little chamfer on the edge here. And to get that weld to clear, we're gonna to have to grind so much off that there's almost nothing left of it. Or if we grind this chamfer off, then it's gonna, the wheel's gonna fall into this recess here. So I think moving this to the edge is the only option. I think Monster Jam, we got it on the edge here anyway. So next, let's get the hub off. I suppose it's gonna be similar to an RC car, maybe not, we'll see in a minute. So this part here, this is the hub that we need to take off. I'm guessing once we get this cover off, there's gonna be a big nut in the middle. We can take that off and a whole lot should hopefully slide off. And also we've got this tether here. This is a safety thing. So when you, if you crash and this ever breaks off, this holds it on and stops the whole wheel rolling off into the crowd. So we've got to take this off as well. All right, need the bigger one. So one difference I can see already from an RC car is that on an RC car, this shaft here would normally drive the wheel directly. But on this, we've got a planetary hub. So basically what happens, this is the drive shaft, that turns, so that turns this thing here, that turns these outer gears here, which turns this ring, and then it gives a gear reduction. I think the reduction is about three and a half to one, something like that, but it takes all the stress out of the drive shafts, out of the diffs, out of the transmission, everything else. So next, I think we've got to get this big nut in the middle off, and hopefully the whole lot is going to slide off. I think this is going to be quite heavy. Look at the size of these parts, guys. Everything is massive. It goes all the way from here to here. Next, we've got this giant wrench thing here that Tony from Swamp Thing made to see if it works. Good, this thing here is just going to fall on the floor and break. Uh, that's heavy! Oh. oh my god, guys, check out the size of this wheel bearing. So there we go, one hub off, and here's all the other components, look. You know what, guys, everything seems a lot more straightforward than I think it was gonna be. It's just like a giant RC car. I think the biggest issue is it's just that everything's heavy. All right, so a little bit all over the place on this build. We're doing a little bit here, a little bit there. We've got some steel up there so we can make our parts. Big brake pedal. And we've got to move to sway bars. Normally, on most monster trucks, the axle housings are a lot narrower, and the shocks are normally pretty much vertical. Because we've got a wider housing it puts the shocks right out and if you have a look at this bracket here where the shocks are bolted to this is also where the sway bar bolts to so because we've got a wider housing it's putting these sway bars at a bad angle and this bottom ball joint here if you look at that look it's already fully maxed out so if, if this axle articulates it's going to bend it snap it off or do something bad so what we're going to do we're going to move them we're going to clean up a little bit of paint here and weld on a couple of brackets oh. Poor powder coating. So we've got a couple of brackets bolted on there. So we've just got to clean up the paint there, weld it on, do the same on the back, boom.
nice. Isn't it nice? <laughs> That'll do. That's better. Now, if we come around here, look, we can now see that the sway bars are perfectly going straight down and the rod ends are perfectly straight. Boom, got that one on. And now Vinny's fitting something. What are you doing, mate? It's a voltage cutter, I think. I think it's a voltage cutter. What is it? it? I think it's what it is. What do you reckon, that way around? I have no idea. I reckon so. That way, stick that on there. Where's your ugga dugga? <laughs> we can't ugga dugga that. <laughs> Stem <Stimpwood. laughs> Boom, ready to go. <laughs> so next, we're gonna mount the steering wheel. I've just quickly mocked it up and just sort of put it roughly where I want it to sit. Trouble is, the steering column is way too long. So this thing here is called the orbital valve. That's what the steering column is supposed to connect to. And this is where all the hydraulics come out and it's what steers the wheels. So this is supposed to bolt under here. The trouble is the column ends like here. So we've got to cut it down about here, move that over. No idea if it's going to work, but that's all we can do. Do you know what? Getting it into a rolling chassis, that was relatively easy, but now with the little fiddly bits, it's going to be a lot more time consuming. But somehow we've got to cut it down. So we've got a bearing at the top there. Maybe if we hit it on the bottom, it's going to pop out. Or not. But we do have something here that looks like it could maybe be a circlip. Nah, can't get it out guys, even if we do get that sewer clip off, it's not going to push in that way because this piece here was welded on after it was assembled. So the only way it can come out is that way, but it's got something on, attached on the inside of here to stop it coming out, so it's not possible. So I think we have to cut this in half, don't know if we can get this off of there, probably not, maybe we've just got to cut it off flush, um, then re-weld it and then cut that way out, you'll see. May as well twice, cut once. Have to get some wider angle. That'll do. eBay is your friend. So while we're waiting for that angle to turn up, let's have a look at these shocks. So these accumulators here, they kind of flap around a little bit and we've got to make something to keep them all tied together. I'm thinking just bolt a little bit of angle across the back of it. That is solid guys, that isn't going anywhere. So the reason for that bend that I put in there is that these here are actually four inches diameter and the shocks are three inch. So if I'd have had it straight, these would have stuck out by an extra inch. So that's why we put that bend there. We want to keep these accumulators as far back as we can so they don't hit the tyres. So now, with all eight shocks secured, let's have a look at the rotator. We've got to attach this onto there. I was going to buy a bracket, but I can't find mine, so I've got to make my own. Can't wait until we get a bigger shop. Doing it all with hand tools just makes it all take 10 times longer. I want to get some proper machines, lathes, milling machines, plasma cutters, all that stuff. But for now, we just have to make do.
Boom! That's that on there. I've left it all loose for now because I might paint it or powder coat it. Not decided which yet. So we're gonna have to take all these bits off again anyway. Plus not only that, if you've done something wrong and you've got to take something off again, or if you've got to take something off to get something else to fit, then it's a lot easier to not have to do it up every time. So I'm leaving everything loose for now. Then when the build's finished, I'm gonna go around it and do a pull the nuts and bolts. Next, we've got to make some straps to mount the fuel tank. So for that, we're just gonna use some of this flat stuff here. Is it gonna fit? Is it gonna fit? Is it gonna fit? Oh, perfect. Boom! So the next video was supposed to be engine fitting video, however, the engine is still not here yet. We've still got to wait a few weeks. But in the meantime, we've still got a few things that we have to do. Oh, it's Christmas every day. You guys want to see more nitros? And so do I. So we've got my first ever Traxxas Nitro car. Man, the suspension on this feels epic. We've got double wishbone suspension, front and rear. Metal chassis, twin servo. We should wait for a proper running in procedure. <laughs> Oh, we've started it already. Right. All right, cut. You know what to do with it, don't you? <laughs> yep. Yeah, go on in. Get it running, boy. Got the professional in the house. As you put. Right, fuel in. Yeah, we got fuel. We got it primed. Yeah, charged, Jane. Yeah, it was turning over. Now it doesn't. Started yet? I don't know. It was flooded, guys. That's what's wrong with it. Oh, I got one eye closed. Any front flips? Uh, montage time. Then we're going to take it out for a whip. Down a win first. Oh, no. oh yes, oh yes, and we win. Yes. <laughs> so next, we're going to see how fast it can go. Hopefully, 45. Start. We've got rain. That might slow it down. But we've got shelter, so it's all good. Yes. Hopefully, we'll give it a few more tanks and then we'll try it again, it'll go a bit faster. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
fuel. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Evivo 3.3. Next location. Hello. monster truck build but we have a few problems and in this video we're gonna try and fix them but anyway we've got the best shocks the best axles all the best running gear the best chassis the best tires my favorite body the chevy c10 we've got all the best components on the axles we've got all the crd knuckles champagnes hubs overson heavy duty spindles overson yokes big block chevy alcohol injected supercharged engine on the way we've got a custom made one-off patrick housing and shafts inside to make this monster truck wider than most other monster trucks. And some of you guys said, but Kev, it's not the best monster truck, is it? Well, to me it is. I've bought all the parts exactly how I want it. So like for Dennis Anderson, Gravedigger's the best truck to him. For me, this is the best truck for me. And some people say, what about Whistling Diesel? Well, he can't really backflip it. He can't jump it 40 foot in the air. He can't do 100 mile an hour and he cannot do zero to 60 in three seconds. We can. So to me, this is the world's best monster truck. Give me a thumbs up if you agree or a thumbs down if you disagree. But we do have a few minor issues. I've got the engine on the way. Hopefully the video after this one will be the engine fitting video but for now while we're waiting on the engine we've got a couple of little things that we've got to sort out we've already gone over the wheels not fitting on the hubs so we have to get these sent off and modified the seat needs some modifications because these shoulder bits here are too wide and they don't reach me but some of you guys said kev you've got to put your race suit on first because that adds a bit of padding so we're going to try that first but i still think we've got to cut it down this drive shaft safety cage we had to slightly modify it. It was a little bit too long and it wouldn't go on. So I had to cut off one of these. I didn't do it on camera because I thought it's boring. Uh, but now I think we're not to regulations. The rules say that in between these two loops, it can be no more than seven inches. And if we look here, this is much more. We've got about 12 inches there. Cut these tubes off of there and then try and weld it back on there. We just had some aluminium angle turn up so we can now mount the steering valve. We've also got gauges, pedals, and the seat we still got to fit in properly. So enough waffle, more action, more wrenching, and then next monster truck video, we're gonna fit the engine, yes! But that is in there. Still got to make a little bracket here just to go around that bit. <laughs> so next, we've got to weld that onto there. And for that, we've got to take all this lot apart again.
Boom, there we go. A little bit of paint on there, it's gonna look lovely. If it doesn't, we'll just have to get it repowder coated. Next, let's have a little look at the seat. So the seat doesn't really fit properly. The shoulder things are too far apart. But I think first, before we do any adjustments, I need to get myself strapped in there as tight as I can. I need to get the lap belt on there. So we're gonna fit that, strap myself in, and then see how it all lines up. So we've got to mount this seat belt round about here somewhere. <laughs> So just temporarily bolted that on there. We've still got to get the proper wash on, the proper little collar in there, and the proper bolt. But for now, we can strap ourselves in, see how tight it is, and then see how much adjustment we've got to make to the rest of the seat and the seat belts. So you've got to run these seat belts so tight that we actually want to ratchet on there. So once you've got yourself all buckled up, just crank away on here and really strap yourself in tight. Any movement at all in the seat, could lead to injury. And I know it's only a toy, but we're in it. So we've got to do it properly. So where these shoulder pads are, it's got a big gap there, and it's supposed to be a lot closer. Also, if we have a look here, look, it's gonna hit the metal work, so I need to get a bit lower down in the seat. Also, we've got to run this hands device here, so you put it on like that. <clears throat> And that attaches to your helmet and it stops you getting whiplash. But that's going to make the harnesses even higher. So we're going to take a little bit out of the seat base to try and get me down a little bit lower. I've got no idea what we're doing, but if I get it wrong, I might die. So I best not get it wrong. But anyway, the seat belt goes on like this. And I'm trying to do it one-handed. And then if we look over here, we have a ratchet. So we crank away. Another one on this side. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. Ugh. Oh my God, that is tight. Apparently that's how you're supposed to run it. So it's probably brought me down a little bit lower, but we're still, nah, I think we're too close to this piece of metal here. I can't breathe. Oh, apparently that's how tight you gotta run it. So we can get that out of here. If we mess up guys, we can always stick it back on again. So we're going to stick all this back on again in a minute, but first let's chuck it in the truck and make sure that it fits right. Uh, we're in. Oh, it's definitely better here now. Shoulder pads at a better angle. Definitely feels a lot better. That'll do. We are in. Next, let's have a look at the race suit. Oh, looks professional. Look at that. We've got a little bit of padding there. Not that much to make a difference, but we better get it on anyway so we can get the seat adjusted properly. Look at that. We're getting professional. <laughs> <laughs> I still way, way off. How, how much is that? Two inches. So we got to get that there somewhere the old cut off engine controls we can reach it there rear steer there right so these harnesses here they need to be higher up so these slots are actually too low down i'll have to cut this slot out and make it bigger because if these push down on your spine apparently that's really bad for your back so we've got to raise them up the days of this being too easy is coming to an end now this seat really doesn't really fit me properly guys we're going to modify it for now we're going to use it for now but i think ultimately we're going to buy a new seat so i had like a massive massive waiting list on getting seats made and this is one they already had kicking around um and it's supposed to kind of fit me but it kind of doesn't so it'll do for now but later we're gonna buy another one they're not actually too expensive couple of grand custom made can't really complain a lot of work going to these look all custom made all nicely tig welded all aluminium <laughs> Next, we've got to deburr it. We don't want any sharp edges on there that can cut into the belt. And this little tool here makes easy work of it. And you can also get the inside with it, look. Beautiful. Boom, didn't come out too bad. But we've got to make these holes in the cover a little bit bigger, so, mum. Oh, look, eBay parcel. Boom. Man, eBay is just perfect for getting the odd little bits and pieces of metal. Usually you would have to buy a whole entire six meter plus length. But if we just need a few little pieces, eBay is perfect. Man, I love eBay. Helps you build monster trucks. You can make a living from it. We've got to raise the seat up slightly. So we've got to knock these off and make some slightly longer ones. So next, we've got to put a tube across here so we've got somewhere to mount the seat belt.
Right, so we got the brackets all tacked on. We've got that bolt on there. It took a little while to get the height right. If you have it too high, you fall out, and too low, you break your spine. So we've got it just right. So next, let's weld it up, and then we can fit it on. That'll do. That's the nice thing about TIG welding. You can get it nice and smooth. You don't really need to grind it or anything afterwards. Next, we've got to mount the seat to this track on the back here. I don't think I'm gonna put two mounts on here. I think this here is the official mount we're supposed to mount the seat to. So we're gonna fold a bit of angle here to go onto here. I'm gonna get the top mounted first. I think the top doesn't need to be as secure. So I'm just gonna put a bit of aluminium across. We've just got a brand new forklift turned up. Well, it's not fully new. And I've never actually driven one, so we've got to learn. How do we do it, Samuel? Start her up, come on. Start her up, how do we do it? Is there a clutch, is that? A... No, no. No? Oh, there you are, that's up. Whoa, 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 what are we doing? <laughs> ah, this is easy, eh? Yeah? <laughs> I think we've got the land driver. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right, that's pretty easy. Well, that's hot, okay. We're good at this, aren't we? Are you? Now, we have to try and park it next to that without killing it. That's it, fully certified. <laughs> Look at it in all its glory. Back to work on the monster truck. Oh, the gap's a little bit bigger than I was hoping for. Let's see if we can fill it up anyway. Oh my good God, what a mess. It's all good, we have a grinder. Look at that, no one will ever know. Here we go, time to redeem myself. Nah, made a mess of it. I don't know what's going on guys, I think the metal must be contaminated on a wire. I don't know, I've done a little piece on here and that came out a lot better. I'm not really an aluminium welding expert, I can do it, but if it doesn't work out, no idea what I'm doing wrong. If you know what I'm doing wrong, let me know in the comments. That seat in there is now solid. But we still need to make something to tie this piece here onto this track here. So we've got to bolt this bracket here onto the back of the seat to make something to tie it onto this back of this track here. Oh no, guys, this piece here is actually hollow, look. I thought this was actually a solid piece of aluminium. So now if we put a bolt through there, it's gonna crush it. So I don't know what to do. So maybe we can just mount it up here. Uh, bracket's a bit too long, so we can just cut it down. <laughs> So we've got a bracket on the seat, a bracket on the frame, so all we need now is a bit of flat bar, weld it across there and boom. We've got our plate and we'll just hold it in there with a magnet and then we can tack it in place. We've got it all tacked up. Then we'll weld it up properly on to take the seat out again later on. So next, we've got to fit a crutch strap. That's what goes between your legs and keeps the lap belt pulled down. It goes through that hole in the middle of the seat, comes down here, and we've got to attach it down here somewhere. I'm thinking of just wrapping it around a tube like this. So here's the rule book, and this is how you're supposed to build monster trucks. There we go, for the harnesses, through the middle of the seat, it's got to go forward a little bit. So here we've got the tube, we've got the belt on there, and we've just got to weld it in like that. This steel here's got this coating on it, it's called mill scale. It's actually a residue when they form the metal, when it's all molten, all the impurities of the metal, they stick to the surface. But the welder doesn't really like welding to it, so we just grind it off a little bit, and the welding is going to be lovely. <laughs> So 
So for now, it's just tucked in. Once we're fully happy, we've got everything else mounted, and then we're gonna take the seat out, we're gonna weld it all up properly. Next, we've got this rear stiffener bar that we have to tack in. So that is the seat fully mounted now. We've still got to make these here a little bit narrower. I'm not in the mood of doing it now. So next, let's get the pedals in and see how they line up. So here we've got the acceleration and that's going to go there somewhere. Here's the brake pedal. I've got a bit of aluminium tread plate here that I'm going to bolt onto here. When you're getting bounced about in these monster trucks, it's easy for your foot to come away from the pedal. So that gives you more chance of hitting the brakes. So that is going to go there somewhere. And if we look underneath, you can see we've got this track that we've got to bolt it to and it can pick up hopefully on some of these holes we've got under here. So we've got to drill through those holes and through this aluminium floor here, and then we can bolt it on. So we got it kind of in, so this hole and the hole at the back here, these ones line up, but this one... And that one doesn't. Also, the angle of it is not quite right. I think your foot is really supposed to sit like this, but that's a really unnatural position and it hurts. So I think we've got to make a bracket so we can tilt this up a little bit, get a nicer angle, and then all the bolt holes are also gonna line up. Boom, boom, boom. Getting closer, guys. So next, we're gonna have a little play with the shock absorbers. We have the main man, Tony from Swamp Thing in the house. He's also got a YouTube channel, and he's got one of the UK's, or actually the UK's top monster truck. At the moment, at the until this thing's done. <laughs> anyway, link to Tony's channel down below. What are we doing? Uh, well, we're gonna check out the prop shop, because we've got a bit of engagement down here but we just want to know we, how much the prop shaft moves when we take the truck for its articulation so we've got the jack on the front and we can jack it up to see how much it moves when we go through the travel that's one thing we like to check so we've got an adapter in here so it's adjustable so when it's on its big wheels we can actually take the pins down and do it but this is done so it's on its little wheels so we can just use the jack and just jack up the body. Oh, that's a good jack, isn't it? That's a good jack. Where'd you get that one from, Tony? Who's it? A hundred mil there. From being low to up, it's only moved two mil. I was worried that that blue paint on there. I thought that's like the limit of the drive shaft. No, no, that, so that bit of paint, it probably goes to about back here. So you've got a lot of engagement in there. That was when I assembled it. And that's how much blue paint's on there. So we're good to go. MTRA will be happy. Oh, what we got here? So this is what you use to set your shock absorbers up. So you've got a nitrogen regulator, so stainless steel brake hose. That's the little bit that screws on the shock absorbers. <laughs> wind that on hand all the way in so that lets the the nitrogen go into the shock absorber after you fit, finish setting your pressure you wind that down and that's what stops all the gas coming back yeah. out just use it you can start feeling pressure going in there now is that normal that noise yeah because yeah, you're actually putting pressure on the on the accumulator on the back of the piston so in there so you've got nitrogen on this side there'll be a solid piston and on all the rest of this, is, this is fluid on this side, so this is oil on this side of it. So how do you pump it up? Just... We just turn the gauge, so we're, uh, uh, now we're at 100 psi. Oh, and it, and, it just, and it just stops? Yeah, so then what you do then, is just when you finish that, you can just turn it back a little bit. It won't come down, Yeah. because we haven't let any out. If you, if you went too high, so you put too much pressure in, yeah. just get the spanner, drop a little bit out, so, you, okay. so the gauge has come down. There you go. So now we bounce on it, we move that to the center. I bet it won't even move. I'm gonna have to have a few more pies. You can't move it at all. Is that moving it, at all? It's moving a little bit. So I just want to give a shout out and a massive thanks to Tony from Swamp Thing 4x4. He's been giving me loads of advice and tips off this build so far. He made me this great big socket thing here for getting the hub nuts off. He made me up this nitrogen shock charging kit. He's always on the other end of the phone to offer advice and help. So head over to Tony's YouTube channel and show some love. Link down below. And look at that, it's a whole load of monster truck action. He's got a whole load of behind the scenes stuff like bodywork, gearboxes, action and basically everything monster trucks so check out swamp thing 4x4 and give them a subby so next we're gonna get the body or at least the front end and the cab back onto the truck because when we mount all these switches and all our gauges we want to make sure that we don't put them anywhere where it's going to block any vision so by putting the body on we can see where all the blind spots are on the body and that's where we can mount all the gauges and all the switches and the engine has just been shipped to me and it's been air freighted and it should be here in the next few days we're also getting these wheels
wheels and tyre sent away to get modified, so this truck should be working. Hopefully, not too much longer. Boom, and just like that, we got the body back on. And here's the view we got. So we want to mount all the gauges sort of along here somewhere where you're not going to be blocking any vision. But I can't mount any gauges yet because the clamps that I need to clamp it onto the roll cage, they come with the engine. And the engine's going to be here in the next few days. And look at that, with the body out of the way, we've now got a perfect home for the forklift. Then the next video is going to be putting that engine in and hopefully getting the bad boy running. Yes! Hopefully even driving. So subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it. So this is the Traxxas Revo 3.3, the world's most user-friendly nitro-powered RC car. You see on most nitro RC cars you've got to stick a glow starter on there, and you've got to mess about with pull starters or starting boxes. With this, you just shove that onto there, hit the button, and boom, you're running. Sometimes. And although it's really epic, we can make it better. So in this video, that's what we're going to do. Fast forward to the end of this video, we took this car to Jason at Redfin Models and he modified it so I can now start it on the controller, watch. More on that later. He's running out of fuel though. Come loose. Guys, I love nitro, but not when they're causing problems. Next, we are off to Redfin Models to make a special little modification. Man, what a racket these tyres make. So here we have the main man's going to make an electric start. So here we are at my local hobby shop, Redfin Models, and Jason has kindly accepted the challenge to try and make this Revo 3.3 electric start from a button on the controller. Go back over there out of the way. I'm glad someone knows what they're doing. Next, we've got to butcher the wand. That's got to go on there. Next, we have a BEC. And the BEC puts the voltage down so that we don't fire the receiver. So next we have an RC switch and apparently we solder this to the board and then that replaces the button and then that gets wired into this switch here and that is hopefully going to do the glow and the starter motor. So next time we go to Arc Raceway and it rolls over on the other side of the track and someone marshals it, we can just start it up again on here. Yes! Is it going to work? Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's alive! Next, we've got to get it all back in there and then 
we can let it rip once we've put a new spur gear on there anyway so we are getting there but this circuit board uh, is actually a little bit too big to fit in there but tracks us to a smaller one so we're going to get one but for now we're just going to make it fit and while jason's making it fit let's have a look to see what he's got in his shop some hbi action some mavericks a lot of you guys keep telling me to get a maverick which one do you want me to get tires going on airplanes little ones big ones what else you got there mate Oh, check this out, guys. I am really tempted to get this for something. What do you reckon? What car should we put it on? Drag slash? He's got the world's best RC car and the world's fastest. New Fox. Oh, he's got a Fox. Oh, guys, this is a beast. Solid axle monster truck. Oh, I still need to get myself a Mini Z at some point. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at this, guys. Oh, there's a zip thing on the side. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. So these are the belted ones? Yeah, that's it. We're going to put these on the Project World's Fastest off-road RC car. And if that works, that's going to save us so much hassle. Look at all these electronics. We've got speed controllers, motors, batteries, even Redfin own brand LiPos. And something here is not fully going to plan. What it's happened? What happened? I don't know. Smoke it's came just, out. Our little switch unit didn't like um, more than 10 amps. So the push button that is usually on there has actually got the full current going through it for the motor and everything. So Jason's fitting an ESC. Oh, and check this out, guys. Full-size fake body clips that you can put onto your full-size real car. So the speed controller idea also didn't work. I think we must have put the voltage in the wrong way and more smoke came out. We're going to get a relay. We're going to get the smaller circuit board. And if you want to come to Red Fins, then this is where you've got to come. <laughs> few days later, look what's arrived. We've got Jason from Redfin in the house. Look at this. Go on, explain, dude. What, okay. what have you done? All I know, it looks absolutely epic. Look, okay, so start, look. We've <laughs> cut into it and put the older fashioned, smaller, easy start board inside this box here at the top. In there also, we've got a RC switch, so we can activate it for a spare channel. Well, a six volt back to give all the servos their power again from this new LiPo. We've got, I think it's a 4800 2S. And then we've got a voltage monitor there as well. All the original OptiDrive reverse mechanism still in there and working. And now the receiver lives underneath. We made a little custom bracket as well. So she's all as she was before. Car's unchanged other than the wiring links. Dude. That is looking epic. If any of you guys want to do this to your one, make sure you head to Redfin Models. He's going to give you a hand, tell you what you need. So in a minute, we're going to start it up and see how it works. Unfortunately, we can't drive it because we did strip that spur gear look. I've ordered a new one. This one here is a Robinson Racing steel one with an upgraded slipper clutch. So as soon as that gets there, we're going to fit it and make another video. But anyway, let's get this started up and see how it works. <laughs> Man, I love nitros, but not when they're troublesome. Hopefully now it's going to be almost as user-friendly as running an electric car. Man, I can't wait to take it to Arc Raceway, get it on the racetrack, because now when the engine stalls, if it rolls over and the marshal gets it, or if it's on the start line and the engine stalls, no big deal, we can restart it from the controller. And that's going to be in a video very soon. Here we have a giant RC car. And here we have an even bigger one. So this is the Primal Raminator, the world's biggest RC car. And it's also got the world's biggest RC car wheels. So we're gonna take these off and put them onto this. And then we're gonna take it out and see what it can do. Guys, this thing is absolutely mahoosive. I can't even pick it up, it's too big. <laughs> there we go, just look at it, guys. Anyway, enough waffle, let's get the wheels fitted. Oh my god, guys, look at the state of that! That's just ridiculous! You can barely steer! What? Look, here's a normal size wheel. <laughs> no idea what's gonna happen. Is the gearbox gonna take it? Is the motor gonna take it? Is the truck gonna take it? No idea what's gonna happen. And in this video, we're gonna find out. Boom! There we go, all fitted and ready for action. And what about the little wheels on this one? <laughs> no. How dare you? Toys in the back, skate park over there, but the biggest zombie apocalypse ever. So next location. So here we are, next location and no zombies. 
So we're going to start it off on 6S, and if it survives, we might go to 8S. And more S's mean more power. All right, let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> Next, we're gonna hit the skate park. <laughs> it's got no steering. So next, we're going to hit the world's biggest jump with the world's biggest tyres. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh we're good, we're good. Oh. It's still going. Oh, it's going to oh. off. Yeah. Front left. Oh. Wow. Let's get it now. Oh. Finish it. Finish it. Stand back, everybody. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I told you all to get out of the way. When Kev says get out of the way, get out of the way. <laughs> Oops, bump has gone. Oh no. It's still, it's still going, it? isn't it? Yeah, it just, it just overheats. It's so overgeared. Guys, today we got the engine coming for the monster truck and we got to lift it off with that and I'm a complete beginner driving it. It's a worry. <laughs> Safety at its finest. You ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty, isn't it? Next, we've got to lift the engine out of the crate. I'm scared, as soon as we lift it, it's going to try and fall over. So this is going to be sketchy. If it goes wrong, it's going to be really bad. I was going to lift it off of these. I rang up Tony from Swamp Thing. He said, no, do not lift it off of these. What did Ian say? Ian said, don't lift it off of those. <laughs> <laughs> it falls on the floor, it's Ian's fault. <laughs> it's all right, it's not mine. <laughs> oh man, look at that horsepower. My bot bot is going like this. <laughs> that makes that look like a mouse. Yeah, Kev's got shiny balls. <laughs> <laughs> Would you sit on that? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Would you watch? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's trying to fall over. Is that safe? Yeah, it'll be alright. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's sketchy. <laughs> Oh, it's Christmas every day. I must be talking about that. Here, we have to give up. All I've got is his arse. <laughs> I can't see anything. Let's go to the box. Just look at the box. Oh, it's done it. See, oh man, it's my husband. You found it. 
these, you have to weld these onto the chassis for these supercharger straps to go on. Oh, more then. Sweet. That is what we need to mount all our gauges and clocks. More goodness. I don't know what that's for. That's your wheelie bar. <laughs> oh, you can bolt it on the engine, so you've got a little movie roundy thing. You know that would have made yeah. it a lot easier, wouldn't it? Right, so we've got, we've got, oh, just brake tubes, so we've got to put the end on. This must be brake line stuff. Heavy and noisy air filter, sock. Jeez, you don't want to drop that one on your foot, do you? Right, there we go. There is that. Oh. Is that it? Spin, spin it. It should feel good. There you go. So that's, that's on on now. That went down to, there oh, there we go. go. That's, now it's on on. That's on. Oh, guys, check that out. In a minute, we're going to be taking that and fitting it into the monster. I've got a little bit of welding to do on the seat frame, so we're going to do that before the engine's in, and then we're going to attempt to fit it. But before that, let's have a quick montage. Guys, this thing is absolutely massive. Look at the size of it. So I'm gonna try and explain to you what it all is and what it all does, but I'm a complete novice, so I'm not really 100% sure what it all is. So if I said something wrong, let me know in the comments. So it's a 540 cubic inch engine built by Richard Midget, who builds all the Monster Jam engines. It's supercharged and alcohol injected V8. It's based on a Chevy engine, but I think there's nothing on here actually Chevy. Everything is aftermarket. We've got aftermarket heads, aftermarket crank, ignition, block, alloy rods. These here are straps in case the supercharger blows off to hold it on. It's got mechanical fuel injection. And if you look here, you can see the injectors going in here. And if you look in here, you'll see them poking out just there, look. So as it sits, it's probably running around about 1500 horsepower. If we change this supercharger pulley here for a smaller one, it's going to overdrive it, spin the supercharger faster. We can suck more air into the engine or force it in. And that should get our horsepower up to around about 2000. Tony from Swamp Thing reckons if we change the supercharger and do a few little minor adjustments, we might be able to get it up to about 4,000 horsepower. Now we can't run that much power in shows, but we can in our backyard. And I'm planning, when we get the new backyard, is to have a full size Monster Jam well final style Monster Jam track in my backyard. It's got a mechanical fuel pump that drives off of this here. And that is the fuel pump here with a safety shut off. I've got to put a wire on here, a little pull cord inside the cab so you can shut that off if anything goes wrong. And then down here, we've got the power steering pump for the front steering. It's not on there yet, but once we get it, it's going to go on there. And over here, we have the transmission. So this is based on a power glide. It's fully custom built. We've got a beefed up casing. If, you haven't, if you've got a stock casing, you've got to run a blanket in case they explode. On these, they've got the heavy duty casing anyway, so you don't have to. There's the torque converter. We got the flywheel up here, which weighs like literally nothing. And I'm not fully sure which way round it goes on. If you know which way it goes, let me know in the comments. Because if you look at this tooth thing here, the starter ring gear, it's actually offset. Look, it's sticking out this way. The other side here, it's almost flush. I don't know if it's supposed to go that way or that way. And I think to lift it in, we're going to have to use the forklift. But the trouble is, the forklift does not fit here. Even if we get these tyres out of the way, there's not enough room to get the engine in and then swing it round and get it in. So we're going to have to put the forklift in there and put the monster truck here. Trouble is, we can't really move it. So we're going to have to try and pick the front end up with a forklift. No idea it's going to work, but if you don't try, you don't know. So we've got the welder fired up. Then I'm going to try and weld up as much of that seat frame as I can. And then later on, we can take the seat out and weld the rest of it up then. It is engine fitting day and we're trying to debate where we're going to lift it from and what we're taking off. To fit this in, we're leaving all the supercharger on everything on. We've got about that much room. So most people take the whole supercharger off to fit it in. But we're going to try and get it in there without taking anything off. So we're thinking, make a couple of little bits of flat bar on there, put a shackle through there, and then we can get a fork there, a fork there, sling round, and it's going to be easy. easy. We've got to cut a little bit off this engine plate here. This is the engine plate to match the chassis. Uh, this engine plate's already on it and this engine plate is to match all this alternator and everything and it's also got a little bit shaved off here to clear the cylinder head so all we gotta do cut a little bit off of here and then we can lift it in yes <laughs> Looking at it, guys, I'm thinking this is going to have to come off. We've only got a couple of inches to spare for having that on there. And I was thinking, have one fork here, one fork here, 
then have the strap going round, but it's gonna put this strap at a funny angle. And I think it's probably gonna end up smashing into here and into here. So here's what we've got to cut off. And tool wise, we got a few options. So I think number one choice is gonna be my jigsaw. If that don't do it, maybe the reciprocating saw, but that looks a bit vicious. And if none of that does it, then I suppose we've got to do it with this. <laughs> Now it should fit. So next, we've got to get the helmet off. So there's a couple of screws in here that were really hard to get to. Got to make a special little spanner to get in there and take them off. And next, we've got to take these ones off. A couple of fuel pipes and the whole thing, hopefully, will lift off. Do you know what that looks like? It looks like a shredder. You know them shredder videos? Yeah, oh, I love them. So what we're doing is we're moving <laughs> these. <different names. laughs> Chemistry, <can't laughs> <see. laughs> Yeah, you will. It's not much, guys. Yes, skills. Eh? <laughs> 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 oh, no. Next, we got to get the body off because the engine's going to hit it. With It's worrying and it? it's just dangling there. <laughs> and the novice forklift driver did not put a scratch in it anywhere. Oh, oh Jesus, that's so Jeez. tight. <laughs> Concentration on his face. He's got a proper serious look on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Screws in here, they're absolute pig to get to, so we made this. Back in the old. Next, we've got to fit the fuel pump assembly onto the engine. So here we're attaching the fuel hoses. So next, we've got to plumb in all the water. We've got to put an accu sump in there. We've got a few other bits we've got to plumb up. Some of the stuff we have, some of the stuff we haven't. Oh, we can get these on. So 
So there we go, we've got the front ones on. The idea with these is, is to limit the travel of the shocks. Because if you haven't got these and the shocks get to their full travel, there's a piston inside here. It's only held on with a little bolt or a nut or something and it can easily get ripped off. This protects it. Probably gonna put a zip tie around here just to keep them together. And next, I'm gonna put the back ones on and the rear ones are slightly longer because we've got longer travel shocks on the back. Boom, there we go. So here we have this little radio controlled Suzuki Jimny. Oh, there we go, 50 degrees, and we're doing it. And can we make it safely back down again? We're gonna go really slowly. Look how controlled this is. Look, we can stop. It's gotta be one of the most controlled crawlers that I've ever had. So here we have the obstacle course. Look how controlled that is. I think it's probably gonna get stuck. I haven't tried it yet. We're really asking a little bit too much for it here, I believe. We have to think about our lines a little bit here. We've got the differential getting stuck on there. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Oh yes, we've got to put the wheels in the right places. Can it make it, can it make it? Oh yes. Oop, hold on, lights. In this video, we're gonna be putting skateboard wheels onto this RC car. So somehow we need to get this to fit onto here. Uh... Boom! Oh, check it out, guys. The UK's number one skate park and Europe's number four skate park. That's what Google reckons anyway. Number one. <laughs> oh, yes, in the house. Uh oh, I was oh, in nicely at least. Yeah, yeah. Oh. $20, $24, $100. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll give it a go anyway. Oh, dead, mate. Alright, so what would you make of that one? Crap. Alright, next, give him a little toy grade, have a little go on that one. It drives like a child, so it's probably perfect. That's me then? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Alright, next, get this thing powered up. <laughs> get it on the back. Hang on, Dave, give me that. Oh. Oh, I'll give up. Is it? <laughs> well, that's that done then, Kev. Give up on that one. <laughs> all this is all just done now then, bored. Yeah, but... Guys! This is the world's biggest RC car. And in the last video, we put the wheels from that onto that. And it kind of sucked. So in this video, we're going to do it again, but make some improvements. Man, this thing is a monster! Just look at the size of it! But anyway, this RC car here didn't really have enough power to drive those great big wheels. So in this video, we're going to fix it, and then we're going to take it out for a rip, and hopefully cause a load of carnage. Oh yes! So to sort out the lack of power, we're going to fit a motor that's got more torque. More torque means it's got more turning power, which means it's going to give it more power to turn the wheels. Also, by fitting bigger tyres, you are making the gearing higher. So we need to get the gearing back down again. So for that, we can fit a smaller pinion gear to the motor and a larger spur gear that runs on the motor like that. So we're going to chuck all this into there. And hopefully this time it's going to be epic. Oh dear, look, we have damage to the gearing already. That was from the last video. There we go, ready for round number two. Man, look at the size of it compared to a normal X-Max. Here we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, differentials don't like it. Oh no, we killed the rear deer. All right, flat out launch, ready? 
Full speed, full power. <laughs> oh, no. We'll fix it, then we'll take it to the skate park. Oh, no, look. Look what it's a drive shaft. Oh, my God. It's all good. We have spares. And boom, there we go, back in action. Here's the old drive shaft. I've never seen a drive shaft break like that before. That is crazy. Right, oh, that's it. It's skate park time. We have arrived. We got another nubbit in the house. We got more crew in the house over there. Ooh, look at this. Snow's on. There we go, a test lipo. Let's rip. Look at that. Bigger truck, me and women are more impressed. <laughs> Not compensating, honest. Before we kill it, let's see how fast it can go. <laughs> we got to go a little bit smooth on the acceleration and brakes, otherwise we might smash another dry shaft. <laughs> Let's see if the X-Max is really tough. We're gonna see if we can hit this over there and then flat out up there. Oh, the X-Max loves it, look at it go. Oh, tumble Footage. It's too heavy. Handage. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Someone said in the last video, I wonder if the self right button works. Let's see. Oh, yes. tires on there just a testament to the durability of the x-max the diffs are taking it the suspension's taking it the chassis is taking it and so far the new drive shaft's taking it too oh standing backflip oh yes standing backflip with laminator tires <laughs> oh and it takes it next we have a game of sumo First to fall off the table loses. Oh yes! <laughs> oh. World's biggest RC tyres versus human. <laughs> and he lives. Next location. Oh, you're losing your load, Stephen. Forever, that yeah, it's Oh, no. We lost the load. Oh. Man, this thing goes everywhere. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, game over. Oh. Yeah, we're done.
Come on, X-Max, come on. Nah, game over. We're going to take some of the world's strongest RC cars and take them to one of the world's most abusive skate parks. Oh, that was vicious. So this is supposedly UK's best skate park. It's also the most punishing skate park that I've ever been to with RC car. Nothing makes it out alive. It's also the first skate park that we went to on this YouTube channel. And it's actually the skate park that got my YouTube channel first noticed. We're going to take the mighty X-Max, the Armour Mojave, the Armour Senton, and also the Felony. Poor Felony. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's go. <laughs> We have a wife, we got the crew in the house. We've got AS hiding over here somewhere. <laughs> he's got his Bison X Max, wherever that is, wherever that is. Oh, look, he's got the whole entire model shop in there, all of it. What's the old hardcore's got? Uh, Rivals getting it today. X Max. Here we go, it's been a while. This is supposedly the UK's best skate park and Europe's fourth best skate park. There's AS Steve, Hello. and there's the bowl. So we have one bowl, two bowl. Free bowl. That there is like a vertical wall of death. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's do it. I oh, really have got bin bags. What are the bin bags for? What's left of the cars afterwards? Oh, dear. Oh, Steven's in. Oh. <laughs> Please. Oh, nice. Oh, he's in there. I'm gonna have to give that a go in a minute. Hey, look at that. Good old lads. So now with the battery plug back in, we're back in action. Oh! I have a challenge. We have to go from that bowl, jump from that into that one, and then from that into that one, and then a lap round, and then out. I think that's gonna be a challenge. Yeah, I'll have a go. Yes. We're gonna see who can do it first. Here we go. First attempt. No, I already failed. Steven's go. What is your weapon of choice? Helium Dominus SC. Budget car. Success. Right, here we go. Drop it. Ah! <laughs> Steven attempt number two. Oh, yes, he made the first one. Oh, a little bit enthusiastic. Oh, he lands it. Oh, and, oh, did he land it? No. <laughs> no. Oh, that went a bit more than expected. Oh, no. Attempt number three, probably. I'm losing count now. Oh, 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 oh! So all we got to do now is do a loop round here. And we did it! Yes! Okay, we'll give it a go. Oh, that was some elevation! Oh guys, we just missed the most epic footage ever. We hit this death ball here, flat out, and I wasn't recording, so now we've got to do it again. Alright, here we go. Flat out. And it's still going, it loves it. So next we did this one flat out, and I also wasn't filming. Here we go, flat out. Oh, our body's off, but it's still going. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, that could have been a lot worse, and it might get a lot worse. So 
so far that X Max survives. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers the video where it actually went up there? It's probably about three or four years ago. X Max is still loving it. So I think we're going to let X Max cool down and then we're going to get the next victim. Before we get the next victim, Stephen done it. Whoopsie, what, what happened? It went that way. He jumped there and it went exactly where we said it shouldn't go because it's a prickly bush. And it's in the middle of it. There it is, hiding in there. Can you fish it out? Ta da! So here we've got the next victim, the Arma Mojave. This one here's got a scorched RC chassis. Time to give it hell. Oh, we're not so tough. Killed it. Oh. <laughs> oh, look. Broken arm. Game over for that one. Stevens X Max. Hey, oh, oh, oh. It's all over. <laughs> Put it. Ah. Oh, yes. Tumble, one ball. We'll fix it. <laughs> uh oh, oh. <laughs> oh, the bumper's fully off now. Look at that. X Max with no yeah, bumper. That look pretty cool. That looks much better. What do you reckon, people? I've got a challenge. challenge. You have to jump out of that bowl and land into that bowl. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, there was a nice landing. Watch out, heads, 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 heads. Oh, Stephen didn't even look. Heads, 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 heads. Oh, I really thought that was gonna land on AS's head. Oh. Next big team. So this is an Arma Centon 4x4. I'll probably say this is one of the most durable RC cars you can get. So let's get it on the world's most punishing skate park and see what it can do. What do you reckon, Steve? Is it going to last? Uh, <laughs> All right, let's go. This thing's going to get maximum abuse. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I've got a feeling this thing is unkillable. Ah, oh, we've got to go in. Oh! <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, and it takes it. It loves it. The armor Sentinel has got to be one of the strongest RC cars in the world. Look at it go. There we go. Oh, and it, it's still going. Of course it's still going. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh that's got to hurt. But it's okay. It's the Sentinel. No problem. Footage. Get in now! Oh no, what happened? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, it's still going! Death wall, flat out! Oh! <laughs> oh, head! Oh, Mitchell's got the bison! Oh. Here we go, flat out! Thank you. 
Oh! Oh! Look at that, the V car bison. Mitchell giving it a durability <laughs> test. <laughs> I don't know what's broken, I think it's just a shock. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, shock tower. No big deal, still works though. <laughs> <laughs> what's happening, Stephen? <laughs> Shouldn't do that. I'm impressed with that bison though, it's doing well. That bison's not doing bad. Oh, 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 oh! It's wounded, shock's off. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, oh my god! They're still going! Oh my god! Look at the poor thing! Oh, that stinks in there, guys. Oh, yeah. How's this thing still going? Go. What's going on with that bison, man? Is it still alive? Last car left running wins. Demolition Derby coming up. The bison drive. has got shock problems. And in comes the rival. We have a destruction derby. Ready, steady, go! Oh! oh. That's about it. Oh, and he's out as a hole. Oh! oh. Uh oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Game over for the bison. <laughs> oh, mine's dead as well now. There we go. Game over. Let's have a little look at what carnage we got. So we need a shock tower, which is a very minor injury, and we've lost drive somewhere. I think we've probably killed the dip. Osberg here. Or everything. Game over. Let's have a look at the rival. Just snapped in there. Ah, what about the rest of it? It's fine. A lot of you guys always ask what is the world's best cheap RC car and a lot of people say that. Let's have a look at the damage of the bison. A shock off. So that is why they're so good. Let's go! <laughs> Good catch, you alright dude? You alright mate? Yeah, fine. <laughs> you saved it. What the hell? <laughs> I just looked away and was like, shit. Alright, after nearly killing Mitchell, we are back in action. Oh, look, we have a near vertical jump and we have a soft landing. You didn't mean that tree, did you? <laughs> oh dear. Where is it? It's, um, it's up the tree. Oh, it's my head. Oh. What's it doing up there? So the felony might be gone forever. What happened? Are we going to get it down? Uh... I was hoping it's going to land in that tree and somehow it went up to that one. I thought it was going to clear the thing and go to the road. Yeah, that would have been really bad. Oh no, oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> You've just made that not better. 
Here we go, hardcore recovery team. <laughs> At the moment, it isn't broken. When it comes down, it probably will be. <laughs> oh! 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 oh, we've got bits missing. Well, thank you for the recovery service, people. But it said, I want to go up the tree. <laughs> It didn't specify what tree. And back in action. Oh. And in bits. We can have a little go at it. Let's go. Oh, Stephen's off. <laughs> Mitchell is into his drift cars. Let's see what he makes of the felony. Hey! <laughs> it's a lot harder to drift being four-wheel drive. Do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, easy. Get it in the bowl, boy. Oh! Oh, oh no, what have you done? Tire's a bit worn. Go on in, go and get your drift car. So Mitchell's gone to get his drift car. And while he's doing that, we're going to rip a little bit more felony. What an RC car, absolutely amazing. One of my favorite RC cars. If you want to know where we can get one from, I'm going to put a link to that down below. Oh. RC car, not really supposed to be a beaut on a skate park, but it took it well. If you want to know where you can get one from, link down below. Mitchell's got his drift car out. Tell me what you got, mate. MST RMX 2.0. It's an MST what? RMX 2.0. There you go, one of them, and I don't know anything about them. Is it rear wheel drive? Yeah. Rear wheel drive. All stuff going on in there, like it's going in, show us what it can do. You guys, you always give me grief in the comments saying they're not proper drifters. This one apparently is. It's rear wheel drive. Let's have a go, lads. Professional drifting. It's harder than it looks, isn't it? It's really hard. I think it's a mirror come off. Oh, that, that's been off for a while. What's that? Part of the light bucket. Oh, all well, well, right. Yeah, I think you uh, better, better have it back, dude. You can have it back. There you go, mate. Uh, game over for me. So that is the end of the 2021 rewind video and i hope you guys really enjoyed it i want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you viewers subscribers people that left nice comments even the haters everybody that came on this channel and shared some love or, or anything else and and just being part of this community and just being part of this thing what we're trying to build here uh, so this year 2022 hopefully it's going to be even better we should get the monster truck going which has been my lifelong dream that should be running this year i've got a show booked in hopefully we'll get it done by then uh, so i will see you in another video very soon and until next year 2023 there's going to be the 2022 replay video hi guys later bye <laughs>